kind of a sweet ad. You have a sweet ad? Yeah, ad. There's an ad going on. It looks like it's a Marines ad. I have it muted so I can't see it. Or hear it, I mean. Because okay. it'll play on the stream. Anything I hear, everyone else hears. Just like this. Right. It's okay, I don't think anyone's in the room yet anyway. Nah, it'll just be on the rewatch. That's okay, I'm uh, I'm trying to load it on Twitch and it just said nothing's live, so I'm going to reload Twitch real quick. What's up, Noah? Hey, SP8, Gungi, how are you, Legend? Big Show, what's good? What's good? I have lots of big info. You guys know some of the subject to change. You don't know all of it. There's more subject to change coming. Just saying. <laughs> hey, Phil, what's the 411? Hitman, 2 Bob. Oh, I'm Team Yeet, man. All the way, Team Yeet. Yeet, Yeet, Yeet. I am all the way, Team Yeet. No left for Jimmy? No. Jimmy's a punk. <laughs> what's up, Telvin? I love Jay. Actually, I really, I don't know why I actually am being serious. I don't really like Jimmy, but I, I like Jay a lot. Yeah. Yeah, yeah J Jimmy's got a different energy. He He's just kind of like Jay, you know, there's the, that whole joke about who's the Mike, Shawn Michaels, who's the Marty Jannetty of each group. And mm -hmm. A while ago, it was like, yeah, Jimmy. <laughs> yeah. He's okay. He's okay. It's, it's, I mean, he's really good, right? Like, just like, um, when I watch, um, when I watch, uh, uh, what's his face, uh, Julius and Brutus, I love them both, but yeah. I, f I feel like Julius is definitely the HBK of the group, you know what I mean? Sandel, get out of here with your Cody should lose. We're done. <laughs> uh, surprisingly, that's Rusty's position, too, and he's the one who's been trying to convince me to love Cody, but anyway, is, is Julius the one that jumps into the cannonball, or is he the that's one? That's Brutus. That, Brutus uh, ball is Brutus. Julius is the super athletic oh. big guy totally makes sense yeah i just every time he does the brutus ball then i i'm just i'm just predicting he's going to land hard on somebody and hurt them like it just doesn't look safe no ever. yeah i don't think they should probably do that move honestly i uh, know this is lee lee's on with me today night, night of the sun as he is known on the discords lee is with me today yeah what's up everybody yeah professor it is a good thing um you had the the you had up to date info like to the second though when you went live yeah, Phil, I knew he was going to be a tad quiet. Um, I can turn my desktop audio up. Some of my alerts might be louder. So when he talks now, let me know how it is. Know how it is. Um, yeah. Hey, guys. Good to see you here. Is that better Sorry or too for... loud? I already We already did the Discord volume, bro. Yeah, I love the Creed Brothers, Bob. I'm with you. Yeah, get the cable. You guys like that? That's that's uh my face photo swapped in there. I actually make a good looking Bubba, to be honest. We look similar enough that the photo swap just went kind of seamlessly. Uh, Evo, this is awesome. Yeah, this is some of Evo's finest work, to be honest. All right, I turned myself up just a little bit more. See if that didn't better, better. Yeah. So. Question. I love Pretty Deadly, too. Uh, chest hair popping out would be more accurate. Also, full disclosure, I'm not that buff. For sure. <laughs> no tats, either. I'm pretty You're like 75% that buff. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. 75% that buff and 150% uh, that fat. Oh, hell. I didn't see it last night, Noah. You're, I'm fine on hearing how, though. That's awesome that they did. It actually beats Chef Merrick's. I mean, Chef Merrick's is pretty good. That was a high bar. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, too, Bob, that. So I told you guys subject to change wasn't done, right? Um, I'm just the messenger. So Bubba has also been subject to change. He is not going to be the trial. That blog should be what? coming down after this. And um, there you go. There's your hint. Wow. That's big. And uh, I think now everything makes sense. <laughs> yep. I think it all makes sense. 
Hey, Sean. Yeah, uh, uh, it is. This is not Merrick's. Cable is streaming today. Merrick's is a punk. So Santina is the trial. Yeah, it's still a trial, Same. but it's Santina. Santina Morella? Yep. What? I think this, it makes sense now. I think this was a huge, dude, look at the poster. It's not even April 1st yet. Yeah, well, I think they got to it early. Oh, okay. So, whatever. Um. Yeah. Can you make Santina a little bit bigger? No. Okay. Um, right. I can't. I, it's, okay. it's, I don't know. I, so they are a little bit early on the art, I think. Like, it's super rushed, right? I think, I don't know what happened, but everything is super rushed, so. Uh, Bob, I think the plan is to dual class it with the trickster, striker trickster, right? So the cobra is the striker, and obviously the Santina part is the trickster. So dual class, dual gender makes sense. But her primary is striker. She'll use striker tokens. Yes, mellow. Mellow is going to be strong. Yeah. Per, yes, hundred percent, hundred percent. Full cable hashtag Andre Box. <laughs> Andre Box. What does that mean? I, I mean, I like there's a story there. Uh, <laughs> you never know with Piper. Um, this is some. Um, <laughs> uh, this is trash. Never go full cable. No, you gotta go full cable. We want Andre. No, we want Andre. No Andre. Chuck Norris was uh was in the game. What like three four years ago? They did a special event for him. Does anyone actually have that art? That was sick. That was that was. The I best. wish. What's up, Vic? I was trying to look back to see if I could find it one day, and I couldn't. That was absolutely the best. Oh, so is everyone having a good Tuesday? Uh, all right. So the story, as it were, <laughs> this is before. Um, this is before like boss battle was a thing, wasn't it? Yeah, Motu came out before yeah. Boss Battle Black. Well, well, no, there was this event, right? And you could pay $20 for a chest that had a decent chance. What Most people got it on, like, two or three pulls, right, Bob? Two or three chests, and they got Andre out of the chest. And it was $20 per chest. Um, yeah, most people did two or three, and they got him. And, like, he isn't good, right? Like, Motu right. Andre is terrible. And, like, yeah, real 50-50, yeah. And, like, Bob and I think Godflow and all of those guys, uh, like, just were, like, going at me about, like, dude, you should go for it and get him. And I'm like, no, it's a waste of $20. He sucks. Not worth $20. I don't need his trainer for anything. Again, prior to boss battle. Um, right. And I'm like, no, I'm not doing it. So they convinced me on stream to spend the $20 to do the pull. Of course I don't get it, and for a while I said it was the worst twenty dollars I ever spent. Um, there you go. This was the Chuck Norris event right here. Oh, you found it! Nice. Uh, HD DM'd me, and I was salty for months that I spent twenty dollars on that. Hey, Patty Cakes, how are you? Nice. Can you send that over to me too? Mm -hmm. I want to. I want to archive that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Again. Oh, hold on. I have a DM. Maybe I'm in trouble. Oh, I have extra stuff to share. I'm not in trouble. That's exciting. Oh. Okay. Um, actually, this is really exciting. Uh, do, do we get to know Santina's coach or trainer ability? No. I asked for that. Not kidding. Dang. I think he wants to save something for DJ tomorrow. Don't ask me why. I mean, who wants to watch DJ when you could watch Cable? I told you guys, like, Cable's not nice, so. Um, where am I on my Discord? There, I sent that to you, um, Lee. Thank you. And then let's go back here. 
So we're going to do roster review with Noah today. He's got a, a smaller roster, which is really exciting because we've had a lot of varying rosters. So this will be a fun one to do. Not very many plates. So I'm going to need everybody's help on that one too. It was classic. It was. $20 to not get a character in 1 million coins, baby. Yeah, it was terrible. It was terrible. <laughs> Dang. Uh, no, I don't have the info blurb. I'm sorry, Bob. So, yeah, Santina is the subject to change. Um, no Dudley. But that's okay. We got uh, Merrick's Dudley in the house now. Actually, that's Capel Dudley. My bad. Um... Hey, Bliss. Yeah, I know. It'll be awesome for you. He's a really good dude. So, really good dude. I will miss him in uh, the free-to-play faction. He, like, basically did all the running of the whole thing. So, work shoot happening? What are you talking about, Zandel? I 100% was super mad about the Andre chest for a while. Oklahoma Thunder, acknowledge me. How are you? I still don't have my um, thingamajiggy up, you know? You know, the thing that you push buttons. Stream Deck! Yeah, Stream Deck. It's still not up because I'm lazy. Um, so, guys, uh, what do you want to talk about today? What do you guys want to talk I'm about? I'm betting some people are going to say boss battle. Yeah. Oh, At least a few. I would hope so. Yeah, McManamy, they subject to change Dudley, too. Manamy. How you doing? I'm doing good, Skull Demon. How are you? It is not male CSS. <laughs> I wanna... mean, that would be fitting, you know, if they just had a female boss battle and all the CSS was male. I'm sure that would that would never happen in, in this game. Never. <laughs> uh, you want to talk about promoters? Who are they and why they're useful? I can't until um, until Wildcat Bonk makes the guide for us one wing like we've been asking. Boss battle sucks, Palucho. Why do you think it sucks? Can you give me more info? Uh, I, I always like to know the reasons why. Typically when somebody says, oh, this sucks, I'm like, yeah, I don't care. But uh, give me a reason to care. Why do you think it sucks? Uh, boss health pools. Yes, we will have that uh, information for you, Bob. Um, equal opportunity, women's rights. Yeah, Merrick's and Professor on the wall. They're the best YouTubers of them. I'm all, I see what you did. You're rhyming. Yeah, I got a bunch of info, <laughs> HD. But you know me. Uh, I don't do blogs early. Unless there's other things to do. Never anyone to battle with. Okay, so that's a valid reason, uh, Apollo. Uh, if you don't have anyone to battle with, I can see why boss battle would suck. Uh, have you considered... <laughs> have you considered, um, I don't know, joining a faction that does do boss battle, though? You miss out on a lot of rewards, uh, for real. Uh, you do. Like, a lot of rewards, just for, for fighting. You got, yep. you got a birthday party to go to? Talk faster? I mean, HD, your problem is not my problem. I, I You know I love you, <laughs> but your problem is not really my problem. Yeet, Professor! Yeet! Also, guys, yeah. while I'm at it, uh, you want to do linky links for Professor G and yourself, Lee? Kitty Corn, how are you? Yeah. Uh, Lady Boss Battle, Lady CSS. Uh, Santino has also subject to change... Santina has subject to change Bubba. Um, make sure and... Give me just... Go ahead. Oh, hey, Rusty. Rusty, you drop those in there for me real quick. <laughs> I'm doing this on my phone, so it doesn't mess up the <laughs> audio. Hey, Rusty. How's my brother from another mother, Rusty? Um, Paulo, what size roster do you have? Oh, yeah, Goldie's got a giveaway, too. Uh, it's on our YouTube, so if you guys want to shout out Goldie for a giveaway, thank you, Telvin. I totally would have forgot that. Um... Paulo, what size roster do you have? Maybe somebody in the chat that does boss battle can help Paulo out. Assuming you're active, Paulo, you will also have to do your part. When's your surprise? Oh, we'll talk to Furpo McMenemy and see if we can have you on. Um, I don't know if anyone can understand you anyway. Oh my gosh, that's amazing, Piper. Um... I don't think anyone could understand you anyway, McMenemy. My concern would be if there was anyone that could understand you. 
because uh, your ratio of swear words to regular words is probably at least one to one. King Rock, anyone? This is my favorite superstar in the game. Wow. What is that? Apparently it was some funky glitch that somebody somewhere ran into at one time. That is incredible. It, it pretty Horrifying. much is. It pretty much is. It looks like he's hulking up. It looks like he's in the middle of hulking up. Like, you won't like me when I'm angry. I, I can totally see that. And the evil rock king. You can... All right, I got it to where I can start dropping stuff now. <laughs> did we there get we go. did we get goldies out there too for you guys? Go go to the giveaway. Go like, subscribe, share. It really helps her out. Um, and then see how many. I believe it's um how many whatchamacallits is what's I think it was. How many what are in the video? You yeah. gotta count them like, like that, you know, jar of M and M's, you know, gimmick that they do sometimes. Uh, kitty corn, yes. Well, yes, sort of. So the subject to change is the Santina um in trial instead of Bubba Ray. You'll get Santina on your roster tomorrow, uh, at noon Pacific, and um, I think Boss Battle also goes live for the midweek. Rusty wants to know if they switched the boss battle to female solely because of the feedback I gave them. I, you know, I can't confirm or deny those rumors. That's that's all I can say. I just I can't uh, officially confirm them. <laughs> so we get to hate Lee. <laughs> Whoops. Yeah, it's their fault. Champs chat guy's fault. Hundred uh, percent. HD. When is your problem start? When is the party you have to go to actually start? I I mean like. I, I do have roster to do and stuff. Um, and, you know, if people only are here for the blog, uh, they can get gone. I don't like them anyway. Yeah, that's right. I said it. If you're just here for the blog, get wrecked. Go. I don't want you here. What's up, hip designer? You got to leave in 30? Okay. Uh, remind me like 10 minutes before HD. I'll do it 10 minutes before you got to leave. Mr. Insane Joker, you know I love you. We had that moment, you know. But. Yes, if we're done, we're done. You know what we do want to do here? What do you want to do here? Blog me, baby! So long-term play for <laughs> New Austin is Gem Damage Titan. Uh, yeah, Vic, I would say so. Yeah. Uh, if you want to see, this is this is his post setup. Um, here. New Austin's ridiculous. His move uh, damage is nothing to sneeze at, though. No, no. With 99 MP, his move damage, if you want to do that, knock yourself out, go for it. Personally, uh, I just don't care because he's ridiculous. And let me just go to a... This is my account, by the way. Who do I like for boss and why is it Z-Live? Yes. <laughs> and new Austin. So keep in mind, he's not maxed, and this is with two hollow stars. He will be star-filled uh, during Flash Feud, 1,000%, so will KO. Uh, you, just, you just missed him. Why is Merrick's blind? This is why I can't click gems, by the way. I I don't know, Bob. So post, uh, it's this, or you can use Sammy. Honestly, Sammy's 100% blast is almost identical to the 3060. This is 90. Sammy's 10% more. Uh, shut up, Evo. <laughs> right on, Kitty Corn. You and me forever. <laughs> so this will all start loaded turn one. This move is just in here, so the AI wouldn't use it because I just autoed him on everything. So this is gonna go much higher, much harder. Oh, uh, I should show you the strap though. It's a good strap. So we got some good strap. Oh. Oh. Yeah, we got a good strap. Oh, sorry, Piper. My bad. Uh, just for this one. Hey, Ocho. How are you, Ocho? Welcome in, Ocho. Um, if you guys want to know why Stip Tours, you can't use a no-move pin bar move, you're talking to the gentleman in chat right now. Uh, he was banned for cheating. For using a pin bar move. I believe it was overturned eventually. But yeah. 
He uh he was just better with a no pin bar than anyone. Wow. That's loud, isn't it? Is that too loud? Let me turn that down. So anyway, uh, 3 million move damage-ish, and then Kablooey for... That's 16, but that's with Hollow Stars, so that's going to go way up. Because hmm. Hollow Stars and all that. And that's also no line bonus, and it's just two clicks and super fast. Yeah, let me fix that. I will get the volume down. Uh... <laughs> Wait, this game has sound? I know, right? I am one who mutes the game audio or have muted the game audio for years, and then whenever I hear someone else play, I'm like, oh, yeah, that's what that sounds like. So, yes, um, you will get to have Santina gameplay tomorrow at noon when the trial starts. That's 20 million besides the finisher. So yeah, it's uh, two clicks and done. I think honestly, by the time it's Starfield maxed out in a feud lineup, uh, it's probably going to push 30 million that way. So I like that. I'm, I just, it's just fast, you know? Yeah. The move damage build does about 50, but even without, like, once you don't have 99, it'll still comfortably do 25. So either way, you've got 25 to 30 move damage and 30 gem damage. That is insane. Uh, Destroyer, no. I actually didn't go Whale Rex at all. I went Feud Rex. I put up 600 points short of 900 million and finished 15th. Yeah. I feuded all but two hours. I took a two-hour nap uh, in the middle somewhere. And that's when I fell behind HD by a lot. I was kind of close to HD for a long time. He passed me probably like 1 or 2 a.m. He passed me. And I was hanging with him mostly. And then I went to sleep and came back. And I probably would have broke a billion if I wouldn't have slept. Uh, but HD would have beat me still. But I think HD, where'd you finish? You finished like 7 HD, 8? Um, I shouldn't have slept. I could have, I could have had the top 10, but that's okay. The two hours I needed it. Eighth? Right on. I think I might have been close to top 10. Nice, Ocho. I'm just cheap. I, I spent a little bit to get Devon, and then I had spent to get Bray, and I didn't want to spend again, so I just paid 20 bucks for steps and went ham. Uh, so, is she is a striker trickster but uses striker tokens and male female rusty i'm still sick um actually today's the worst i felt you got awesome or bad grats dude today's the worst day I, I felt but i showered right before stream um so i would get rid of all the stuffiness so i didn't sound horrible <laughs> oh joe I pulled him from a bag, the bag that holds my wallet. Oh, wow. wow. Fair enough, Ocho. Wow. <laughs> no, it's not April Fool's stuff. Uh, play a long time, 007. Play a long time. Or watch, because occasionally they're doing prize balls now with pretty accessible six stars. They're not going to be ones that change most people's rosters, but once you break the dam on a six star, it, it helps everything else start to flow a little better too so even if it's one of the ones that other people are like oh they're terrible just, just grab it if it's you know yeah. cheap on a prize ball so my free-to-play account has one six-star male ludwig kaiser and one six-star uh lady in uh, hall of fame nikki uh nikki was from a prize ball thanks roman i appreciate that how are you roman i do kitty corn i do <laughs> what's up hip designer good to see you uh, I don't like tea because it tastes like leafy water. One wing, I hate you. One wing's picking a fight. <laughs> I hate you, one wing. So it is, my free-to-play's been playing like four months and hasn't spent a dime. Dude, kitty corn lettuce is just the taste of sadness, straight up. <laughs> What's up, Scone? 
you guys i can load it up and show it if you guys want to see uh noah you're still here right we're gonna do we're gonna do the blog and then we're gonna go over noah's roster dive uh and then we can talk boss battle because the blog should um so reveal all so what do you guys think about santina i feel like the art's a little bit rushed because this is all thrown together i actually can make it bigger Well, she's a guy, so that commercial's hilarious. Among the best artwork they've ever done. Yeah. All right. So, all right. Way, way better than Scott Hall Striker. I mean, oh, hands down. Scott Hall Striker's rough. Hobbit Drew is pretty <laughs> rough, too. Oh, that's true. <laughs> I agree, Ocho. That probably. So, I think when, like. So now, like. uh. So Aust like I've talked about this before, right? Like so Zombie Sammy I just spent four. So he doesn't really like mean a lot to me personally. You know what I mean? Because I there was no striving for it. Um same thing with Bray. Bray I feel a connection to because it's Bray, right? Now if you take Austin that I just got, even though I'm not an Austin Mark at all, uh I really like this one because I worked for it. I didn't spend to recruit it. I, I worked for it. So it has a different feeling to me. But what Ocho is kind of saying is, is I think, true. After your roster gets to a certain size, you it, it's hard, at least for me, to stay as motivated because you just, if you want something, you're basically just buying it. Um, and, like, everything is one click. There's really no strategy in playing like Austin, right? I just click two buttons and you lose. So the, the strategy is setting up your roster to use as many guys that can't lose as possible. Mm -hmm. After that, you're just clicking buttons. Um, you know, one click with Taker is certainly skillless. It's just a matter of having Taker and the right stuff to do that. So what Ocho is saying is 100% true. When you can, when your roster is good enough to be competitive, but you have to be smart with it. You have to be smart with your resources. Like right now, if I just wanted to be a dumb butt for no reason in particular, I could just YOLO whoever I wanted. It wouldn't hurt, right? Like I could just waste those resources and not even think twice about it. So like you're not as invested. A lot of times it's not so much um, getting from A to Z. It's the journey in between, you know? Right. Hall of Fame stars <laughs> rules. Yeah, it's funny, uh, Piper. It's true, though. I don't like Austin at all, really. Um, he's fine, like, but, eh, you know? And I know that's not very common, but, yeah, it is funny because I went hard for two of his characters, right? Um, but, yeah, I mean, Ocho makes a great point, too. Like, really, if you take the skill level required to play at the top now, it's mostly a credit card. Whereas, like, uh, three, four years ago, it was actually a lot of, there's a lot more skill in being at the top. You still took spending at times, but you could really counter that easily with skill. Uh, now it's just more about setting up perfect, right? Like, you don't want to use a single suboptimal guy. You need a promoters. You need affiliations on your promoters. So you have flexibility so you can run those turn one, can't lose fast guys. Uh, and once you get your roster of everyone that can be fast, or in some cases, um, if the bonuses, hopefully they change it. So the bonus this weekend for first time wins, I didn't have a top line bonus, but uh, people tell me if you had the top line bonus, it was faster points to just uh, spam takers finisher over and over. And then, then even worry about winning with the other individual guys. So I, I'm of the opinion that first-time wins should always be the biggest point scorer in feud uh, to force you to use a diverse roster. I think that's better for the game health in general. It's never good when you can just when your best scoring option is simply just using one guy and clicking one move over and over. Uh, personally, that's just my opinion. <clears throat> I like how they're instituting different, like Bray right there. Some of the characters where. You know, you have to think around what they do because I was uh, I was going in feud against Debray, was not thinking, and took Nation of Domination Rock, and I'm running his sub build, and was just like, "Oops, that was the end of me. That was it. I was done." 
Yeah. So I, I'm definitely a big fan of of using a diverse roster. That would be interesting, uh, Vic, if they had like um. <sighs> Not, I don't think it would be, like, people wouldn't like that for Feud because they, like, spend money and they work hard and they level their guys up and stuff, so they, they don't want to use them just once. But I do think it would be really cool to have a mode, a game mode, where that was the case. Like, you brought in, you could only use each character once, and once they were done, they were done. So you had to be really strategic with who you brought in. That would be super fun. That would be awesome. I would love that. Ocho, that's pretty cool. Make it ascend. So first time win is 100k, second card 200, and so on. Cap it at 7. That would be really cool. I'd be down with that too. Ascending would be neat. Yeah, that's. there's a lot of uh, options that I think... So Invasion. Exactly. <laughs> I loved Invasion, so... Uh, yeah, I can use Jade, absolutely. <clears throat> but the, the cool thing about the game, and I think why so many of us... Uh, there's a, there's a few cool things, right? So one thing I think is super cool is you have people from all over the world playing, so you get this variety of people that you meet uh, that are very different. Like, for example, uh, McManamy there is from Wales, and I would never have met a Welshman in my life if I didn't play Champions, right? So it's really cool to get to hang out and know and be friends with somebody from Wales. Um, that's not something that you can just... <laughs> 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 I love nice. you, McManamy. I think he's like Irish or something. I don't know. It's all the same. That's all the same. He's 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 somewhere from over on an island over there. Scottish, Ireland, I don't know. England, one of them ones. <laughs> no, it's not really a good thing. I'm gonna slap you. <laughs> good looking? I don't think that's possible. Twice. <laughs> What's up, Twisted PA. Faith? Hell round three, you can face Lita. Oh, never mind. There you go. All right, uh, HD, I'll pull it up after I play one with this. What's up, Grimlock? Yeah, I, I, I just responded verbally as if I were in a voice channel. That's hilarious, Ocho. <laughs> <laughs> it's good to see so many people that I know in here. I feel insulted. I'm an English woman in the UK could kill you for saying that. <laughs> well, Kitty Core and I apologize. I think you are probably one of the only ladies I've ever had in my stream besides Goldie that I know of. Uh, and then sometimes McLovin's wife by proxy. Uh, but yeah, that's awesome. I'm sorry to insult you. Please forgive. It annoys the Scots more so. Oh, I'm sorry, Phil. <laughs> Phil is from Scotland, I'm pretty sure. I, too bad Fat Jord isn't here. He's the Welsh guy. Uh, if you want, hip designer. We have a very uh, Eurocentric audience today, it looks like. We do. And we'll see if you survive. Deal, Kitty Corn. As long as I can bring Mrs. Merrick's too. Deal. Because uh, uh, she uh, she totally likes... Um, uh, it's interesting uh, because she's not, like, romantic at all, but she really likes, like, uh, the the England, like, England, like, period peace novels, like the, um, like the Bridgertons and um, Pride and Prejudice and stuff like that. So I know she wants to totally go visit the UK someday. So we're going over there at some point. Bro, oh, right on, Bliss. There is another one. That's awesome. All right. Uh, as promised, let's get here for HD. And uh, I'll record it. And then um, let me pop chat out real quick so I can see while I'm reading. Right on, Kitty Corn. What's up, James? Uh, Twitch, how do I do this? I'm sorry, HD. Give me two seconds. Uh, 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 da, 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 da. Pop out chat. Good enough. A political union isn't a country dummy. <laughs> I love you, McManamy. You're not wrong, though. I detect no lies. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah, here's the blog. All right. Let's see. Um, oh, uh, just, I was lying about Santina. Uh, Dudley is still the, the trial, by the way. I was totally lying. 
Oh, sad times. Yeah. <laughs> What's up, Spicy Peppa? Good to see you. Wait, what? Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. I was actually intrigued. It was all a joke. <laughs> yes. Uh, but it really is a lady boss with Lady CSS. Hey everyone, it's Merix here, your favorite blog reader, about to do a blog. So, we have the midweek. There is the Duchess of Dudleyville gear for Stacy. It does things. Um, there's a faction boss. It starts Wednesday at noon. And it does things. You see here, um, summary as seen in game. I go with the in game one, but basically silence, yellow, and bleed. Ten times silence gems. Six. I thought it was seven times yellow gems. Maybe that's changed. Check game. And then to uh, 20 times bleed damage. Uh, we'll actually get to the health pool. This is the important one. Two billion health on a midweek Oof. lady. Yep. So that's a huge health pool. You're definitely going to want to plan for that. Okay, boss abilities. Uh, every turn starting turn one. Move deal bonus damage based on the boss's turn number. Hardened blue gem shield every two turns starting on the boss's turn one. So we got to break uh, blue gems. Um, 80 of them, I believe, is the cap on the shield. Um, spawns random botch gems every two turns starting on the boss's second turn and then heal self every two turns starting on turn two 10 to 20 percent of total health depending on difficulty so uh, what's uh 10 percent of 2 billion health is 200,000 so 400,000 heal every two turns this is this is probably not a turn one guys so uh, you're gonna need your breakers um on your ladies Rarity thing applies. No difference here. If you really want to screenshot it, go ahead. Ten percent is two hundred million. Twenty percent is four hundred million. Yes, that four hundred million. Yeah, no, this is good. I actually, I, I knew people were going to react poorly. I'm actually good with it. Uh, because I don't like the fact that we can turn one boss. I'd rather use my breakers and play the mode. Yeah, uh, that's because I have a, a 1440 monitor kitty corn, so I cannot format it properly when I do this. So it is always skewed in the top shows and the bottom shows. I do appreciate it, though. Healer Steel will probably be useful because that 40k heal is actually 400 million heal. <laughs> that's a little different. A little different, yeah. So that'll be useful uh, on the Healer Steel um superstar strategies uh healer steal and then like you know you're gonna need to stay alive so you probably want healing on your defensive guy and you maybe want your uh shield thingamajabi on the aggressive guy maybe extra time on chaotic potentially uh anyway you're gonna have to figure out how to build gem damage which i'll try and do a video oh man that's tomorrow already i don't know if we'll do a video never mind uh, but you're going to need to grow your damage and stuff like that. So, yeah, it's not going to be easy, but it'll be a boss. Uh, top 200, a leaderboard earns more stuff. Yes, Healer Steel is chaotic, but I also like extra time. So here's your scoring. Probably want to screenshot that. And here comes your CSS. Can I make this small enough so we can get the whole thing in there? There you go. How's that? There's your CSS in one screenshot. Uh, Stacy Keebler, any. Uh, any Asuka, any Liv Morgan, Chelsea Green on level 20. Uh, Indy Hartwell on level 20. Those are on um, apparently any time. And then Thursday only, any Bianca. any mode thing right like we had this past time uh any bianca on boss Kyrie sane on boss molly holly on boss tori wilson on boss and then becky on boss 
I mean, the, the CSS don't matter for boss. If you complete the max boss level, you don't even need these to max the event. So I don't care. They can throw all the rare ones they want in here. That's just for leaderboard stuff that, you know, only the whales mostly get anyway. So I don't care. If you throw your indie out there, it's fine with me. Um, I'm not going to be on that leaderboard anyway. Uh, so you get prize wall medallions, and there is a prize wall, which guys are going to be points per coin. You got it, bud. How's that? What's up, SMG? Uh, it's level. There's eight. not any faction kind of things like the last boss, right? Where it was like you had to do certain number of things across the whole faction. I don't think so. I only slightly glanced at it ahead of time. The level required. Okay. Level eleven is five SB. Yes. I'm gonna zoom in now. No idea. I always play it first. Uh, did we finish this one? I think so. HD got what he wanted there. Limited time tours. Oh, that popped me down. Uh, <laughs> huh? Huh? Here we are. Limited time tours. Okay. Wednesday, Wednesday, and Wednesday. The boys are back in town. Bubba Ray. Team 3D takedown. Devon. And Stacy Keebler. No, the bleed, the boss bleed will not work on the traps. Boss buff bleed will not work on traps or juggernauts. All right, prize wall. There's some good stuff in here. We got, it looks like ultimate straps for some ladies. So Chelsea Green, Tori, Becky, Stacy, Indy. Oh, look. Dudley boys in the prize wall. I don't have these guys. It's the OGs. Mm, me either. I would think so, Bob. Yep. I also may have more information on the revamps uh, to follow. Not in this video, but to follow. Stacy Keebler uh, gear, Molly Holly gear, Oscar gear, Becky Lynch uh, tech gear, Alexa Bliss gear, Grayson Waller. Both of his gears are going to be there. Hulk Hogan Hollywood, uh, Showstopper Sean, Metal Bits, Strap Parts, and then some shards. Uh, Indy, Chelsea. Super Stacy, Tori Wilson, and new Becky shards on the prize wall. I believe the tours are the old ones, yes. The boys are back in town, Bubba and Devon are the old ones, yes. I Yeah, because the new ones are get the tables. Yep, the new ones are get the tables, so those are the old ones. Yep, yep. And I will have uh, revamp information coming. We never know how the prize balls are going to play out, but it seems like there's something for literally anyone with that. I mean, just if you are a player who hasn't been playing for the last couple of years uh, or, or just started playing the last couple of years and don't have the original Dudley boys, like that alone is like something to go for on there. So this looks, I mean, subject to change, whatever's in game, but this looks good. So yeah, um, I would really want to get the Grayson Waller gear because I come the OG Dudleys. Uh, anyway, uh, that's the blog reading by Blog Rex. Um, yeah, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share because that really helps me out. Also, where you're at it, you can like the Champs Chat guys and share them too. But you don't have to. I'm just saying that would be nice. Um, other than that, thanks for watching, guys. Good luck out there. Thanks for joining me on this leap. Yeah, appreciate it. It's always an honor. Oh, 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 I fixed that. I don't need to do the sound effects anymore. Dang. Awkward. Okay. Uh, questions? Before I'm on I... delay, so I was really trying not to ruin that in segment. I was like, I know it's coming, so I'm just going to shut up. <laughs> I don't want to mess you up. They're the OG Dudley, Scott. I don't think they're going to be that hard to get considering they're the tours. I wouldn't be surprised to see if they sell them. This isn't inside info where I'm talking right now, but if they're required on the tours, they're probably going to sell like five-star bronzes for 20 bucks, I'm guessing. That would be my guess. What does the Stacy gear do? I don't think it says yet. Pretty sure it didn't say. Uh, probably what Ocho said.
Unless it's like a thousand percent gem damage or something crazy. What Ocho said. She's rough. She's really rough. Yeah. And the OG Dudley boys are like 20 or 80 shard recruits, I think, originally. So if they have any shards anywhere, oh. unless that gets updated. Yeah. All right. One second. Um. Dun, 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 dun. The Dudleys on the prize wall should be obtainable with the free medallions, just FYI. Should be obtainable, should, with the free medallions. Uh, Stacy's gear will be a huge bleed buff. Okay. Um, also, I would go with in-game on the percent, but I will clarify with the Furpinator. If he knows if it's 600% to yellow or 700%. uh what did it say did it say what level if it's level 11 yes you will need five star bronze Kyrie for the boss if it's level 11. that is uh merrick's that's actually cable ray that's cable ray okay. i i doubt it new age uh she does get a bleed that's decent so if it's massive enough maybe i don't know you guys want to see the Dudley moves? Yes, please. You guys want to see the Dudley moves? Chat? I know Lee wants to see it. I don't know if chat does. I, I want to see it. I, I'm excited. I really like the Dudleys. They were always one of my favorite tag teams. I love them, too. They were my favorite attitude tag team, actually. Ooh. Ooh, that'd be a hard one. There were so many good tag teams. Them and Legends, or that and Legends era. Oh, okay. Oh, uh, uh, oh. So Dudley moves are still a work in progress. So this is not finalized. Hundred. Um. So Bubba still seems useless. So they're working mostly on Bubba because he he still seems kind of useless. So don't take this for gospel, please. Because this is very likely to get STC'd still. But the Bubba in particular is looking kind of poopy right now. So they're still working on it. Okay? Uh, I'll ask if they're going to get new training abilities. Mr. Furpos? Are we planning on upgraded or useful training abilities for our Dudleys? Can one of them be a flat blue gem damage trainer, please? Ooh. Flat, flat blue would be nice. Yeah, since we don't have that exact one in the game. <laughs> uh, so you have an idea? I mean, I could not do the blog at all, but you'd rather not know? Oh. Yeah, that's why he said they're still working on it. Um, so black move one decrease mp cost finisher now allows you to choose an area of blue gems has added hardcore move effect increased power gem strength blue move two decrease mp cost now creates a random area of power gems with increased strength blue move five uh decreased mp cost now lose allows you to choose an area of black gems well i don't know how that uh sounds bad without knowing the power because if you can load it turn one and use it and uh use the finisher that also buffs the power gems and then choose an area to set them off on the finisher that's potentially really good depending on the charges we have a lot of good power gem uh, options for trainers and coaches so that could be good if it's beefy power gems um so i don't know that one doesn't seem bad to me because it's going to recycle as well so with, without knowing the charges and the costs yeah uh that seems fine without knowing charges and the costs so bubba ray is the one they're still working on uh, decrease MP cost, increase bonus damage for every Protect Gem. Uh, move 2 now creates Juggernaut Gems that will create Protect Gems on each turn. It then provides purple MP at the end of the countdown. New Hardcore Move effect that reduces Juggernaut Gems by one turn. Stronger Finisher, Stronger Protect Gems, Improve Recycling, New Hardcore Effect. So. Yeah. Hip designer, you can message me. I have no idea what you're talking about, man. <laughs> so, 
uh, most reworks guys and like i'll go to cena like uh, as an example he's not like a uber feuder right but i actually like that rework so much when there's cena requirements i used him uh instead of like tech cena or whatever i use acro cena because he's fun and he's usable so I think if the rework gets him in the usable realm, I'm not expecting this to replace these to replace anyone on my feud roster, but the old Dudleys were completely worthless. So if they bring them to where I can use them on a tour, I'm good with it. I don't have either of them either, right? So I'll just be happy to get them and and be able to use them. Yeah, Andre work was solid too. Uh huh. So yeah, um, I don't know if they'll sell fuses for him too uh likely if they sell fuses that might be something i think about because i am a dudley mark but he did say that it's intended to be able to get the dudleys with the prize wall from the free currency to get one of them or to get both of them he said both that's awesome yeah so i don't think that seems like a bad thing that seems like a good thing mm. No, I think you've seen several people in the chat who've just said, I just want them just to have them. I think even if yeah. the reworks aren't the best, who who cares? I mean, we're still going to be getting characters that were literally not able to be gotten for a long time. So, like, that's going to please a lot of people, I think. Yeah, I, w I just want them usable. Like, uh, like the, like, if the birthday reworks, like, if they did that every month, like, I mean, I know they can't do that many, but like if they picked one card or two cards this this month, we're getting two. If they did this every month, I'd be happy as a clam. Uh, just mm. bringing some of these older cards up to usable is really nice, and I think it's good for game health in general. Um, that's just my take on it. I don't expect everyone to agree with that necessarily, but that's actually how I legitimately feel about it. So as far as the blogs and stuff, right? I mean, like, it was right just so you know it was posted and the information professor had and the information that was relayed at the time it was relayed was completely accurate then it just changed uh the boss is 700 percent genasty booty so in game but then it changed so plans change i would imagine that the i i don't know but i'm just going to go out on a limb here and say with the quick turnarounds on all the events, I would imagine it's a really tight window and the team is always under pressure to get the events ready and done and ready for the next one. So I don't think there's a huge window of time in between them. Um, a lot of times, I would imagine. So I, I kind of, well, I know it's frustrating. Again, I'll put this back up because I agree. It's frustrating when things change right like we all would prefer if it was right all the time it's absolutely frustrating but at the end of the day like this one i don't really care that it changed it doesn't affect me in any way shape or form uh the way what what i do and this is what i would recommend to you guys when you see the blog look at it as a rough estimate till the event comes out because you, you just don't know for sure that's what i do it's just there to show me kind of a rough guideline um and then when it comes the event comes out then you compare it and then you go you know oh i think the having fun is on the person i'm actually having a lot of fun lately the so i think it depends what you're going for right like i think for me the big thing is how what they've done with their mistakes uh they've owned their mistakes and they have done right by them recently that makes a huge deal for me right like it, when they screw up and then like the, the, in the past when it got doubled down and stuff that really bothered me a lot but lately that's not been the case for a long time actually um and i think like what's helped me more than anything is i spend an amount i'm comfortable with right and then i am much less angry at the game uh and also i don't listen to other people as much I, I, like, I don't let other people influence me. Just because somebody is screams and says this sucks, I don't automatically believe it. I try and like think for myself and see how I actually feel about it. Yeah, Kitty Corn, me too. See, that's what I'm talking about. Like lately, they've just like, all right, we screwed up, we owned it. Here you go. We're gonna do our best to make it right and and move on. Do we like the screw ups? No, absolutely not. But yeah, 
Oh, yes, they are getting new entourages, by the way. Also a work in progress. Um, Ooh. The current increase power uh, are at 5K. Since they're data design, we're looking to add power and protect gem generation via moves. Something like 9K plus 2 power protect, 17K 3, 21K 4, 26K 6. Work in progress. I am a dry turkey sandwich, Michael Graham. I think it feels like they're listening a lot more to like people who've said, oh, they just don't ever listen when we do stuff. But then like the the one recently where, you know, they literally said, we, we got your feedback on the blog from the feud weekend. Here's how we're fixing it. And they did. It, I like that kind of stuff. Right. That makes it really easy for me to be a content creator, to be honest, because I, I have struggled in the past. Verbo could vouch for you. Lee and Rusty don't don't know because like they weren't here then. But like. There were plenty of times when I was super pissed off at Scopely in the in the past. And now that's not fun for me either. It's much easier to do this kind of stuff when I can have fun, hang out with you guys and have fun. And like I don't it's not fun to do that when stuff's going wrong. Nobody yeah, I mean <laughs> uh no one likes it when things go wrong. Right? Yeah. It's not fun. It's not like they're sitting around going, How can we mess up everybody? Like that's they're here to make money. And the way they make money is a game that people enjoy playing. Exactly. So... It's counterintuitive for people that say like Scopely's just trying to screw you. Actually, they're not. They, the, the, the whole goal of a gotcha game is to make you think you're not being screwed. So you spend more money. <laughs> so, you <Right>. know, <laughs> uh, so they're actually not, that's the most absurd thing that gets said in my opinion. Um, but yeah. And, well, and they have to have things like where they're getting it from both ends. Like Footers just said, how can you listen to feedback when it's the game is old and stale? And then why, why did, did you change, change that? Exactly. Like, exactly. <laughs> In the same breath, people complain about feud. And then we get the change scoring and they're like, why would they change something that's not broken? Bruh, if you're not, <laughs> if you're not changing, you're dying, you know, like, especially in video games, if they give us this, I'm out, like uh like if this game doesn't change i don't know i'll be so bored i won't be able to do it you know well it's the old age leadership principle everybody wants change they just want the change they wanted to see change if it's somebody else's change they don't want that nice kitty corn yeah absolutely lee yeah it's super fun to play with a lot of so that's the one thing why like it's nice when they give more resources because most of us are wrestling fans right so it's fun to work up somebody stupid just because you want to you know? Agreed. Merrick, I'm, I'm curious. The thread up there was about the reworks when we were talking about that. Who would be the, like, rework you would most want to see in the game now? Showboat Mankind, hands down. I've begged Furpo over and over to rework Showboat Mankind. Absolutely. It'd be so easy. I can do it for them. It's He's already basically done. You only need to change the wording on one move. You don't even need to change the MP. Furpo, make it happen. I'll say Brutus is the best ever if you just do it. I'll beg. Uh, <laughs> That's shameless. <laughs> community, we hate copy-paste. Also community, why you change? <laughs> why? Uh, I literally see those comments all throughout the discords. Every, every time they make a change, like, how dare you? And then, like, two minutes later, we need to change everything. This is fail. <laughs> right? Yeah, like, uh, I love the change personally. Uh, also, I've said this before, guys. If when stuff changes, if you get on board right away, you automatically get a head start on all of the resistors that hate change. It's a great chance for you to like get ahead in the game and make it easier for you. Straps and metals. So many people resisted that at the beginning, and now look at it. LOL. We hate screwing up copy paste, but the rest agreed. I mean, it is it the copy paste screw up definitely happens. Uh, for sure. What's up, Steve? How are you? Oh, yeah, we can do boss battle quick. Uh, after, after though, I need to start with um, Noah's roster dive. Because uh, he's patiently been sitting in here, hanging out. Uh, well, I've been, like, yammering on and on. So. Uh, also, I do want to say, guys, I appreciate you today. Yeah, I am the giveaway one true king. Um. People haven't been like being as annoying as I thought you were going to be about the subject to change, which I appreciate because that's not what I want to spend all stream talking about. There's actual useful information and stuff we can do. Um, 
and have fun you know i get like i said i get that it's frustrating no one likes it but it is what it is so it's definitely not on purpose um okay kitty corn i, I think you mistyped <laughs> Uh, yeah, you can shove your roster in the queue, Kitty Corn. Um, are you in my Discord, Kitty? Why did it take me until now to recognize the guy on the left, right? I don't know why I did. If you didn't know, Evo did the most amazing Photoshop, and also, I don't not, sh I don't, uh... There's no particular reason why I don't show my face. Like, I'm not hideous or anything, so give me a second here. If you want a comparison, this is not the best picture of me for sure, but... Uh, so, don't have... You should just... I hope I don't break your screens. That's This is me. So, Ocho... <laughs> Ocho put my face on, on, uh, on Bubba there. Pretty seamless... Uh, Goatee is usually longer. It's kind of short right now. That is an expert level Photoshop right there. Yeah. He killed it. I look pretty good as Bubba, though, huh? No, or, I think so. Evo killed it. It was Evo, actually. I know it looks like an Ocho shop, but it was actually Evo. Evo did it. Uh, no. It will not remove the botch. Neutralize will not remove botch. Yeah, baby ice. Mrs. Merrick's got me that shirt. I did. I probably did say Ocho. Nice, Ocho. <laughs> Nails. You wow. One true king. That hurts. That hurts. I probably did say Ocho because I'm used to the Ocho shops. Uh, Kitty, back to your statement. I would be happy to put you in the queue because you've been on my stream uh, plenty of times and in here. So I think that would be fun. Are you on my Discord? Because the easiest way is to send it to my Discord. And it, 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 it. Okay, cool. Yeah, just ping me on Discord and and send me your roster, and I would be more than happy to. Um. All right, Noah. Let's get down to business here. So Noah said he's pretty happy with his roster. Um, he's really focusing on trainers, and his only big struggle is showboat. He's also pretty close to getting his first feud promoter. Uh, IOW Triple H, which I believe is Strikers. So he plans on swapping him between Funk and Bradshaw. So that sounds like a really good plan um, to begin with. He does not have very many plates, so let's take a look at those first. And let me get this up on the screen. And I will definitely want you guys' help for this too. Uh, free to play has certainly helped some. Oh, you got. Is that a Vader I see? All right. So he's. Yeah. That is Hall of Fame Vader. All right. He's got some stuff he's going to be able to work with. So here's some plates. And then we got these guys. Also, how about the fact that Boss Plate um, was obtainable on a prize wall recently uh, and stuff? It's nice to see them finally doing that stuff. You bagged. That, that helped me so much. I was so happy for that. Right? Like just having them is nice for when you want to use them. It's a big deal. Uh, it's a big, big deal in my opinion. So Noah said he bag pulled Vader during Hall of Fame month. That's awesome, dude. I'm assuming you're going to be like struggling with your Hall of Fame tokens a bit. How long have you been playing also? And what size is your roster? I would guess looking at this, he's probably not too much. Well, he's got striker Ric Flair. So that's, that's a ways back. Maybe he's got more active recently because I see him all over the place. Um, these days. So I don't know. Gotcha. Yeah. Well, he couldn't. He couldn't have gotten Ric Flair Reese that he hadn't been in the. But either way, you, you've got that striker Triple H and you've got Vader. You can do some things. Right. Uh, I actually asked him to send. I asked them to send me by class Ocho. That's on me. Two point nine three million. You've been playing for a while. Right on. There's a Y two J in there. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so strikers. Here's what we got. Is it not sorted by talent class though? I think it's not that's okay oh here we go i think i just maybe looked at it out of order so we got funk and bradshaw uh which is who he said he was working on so obviously can't argue with those choices 
Mm. Okay, Noah, thank you. Um, in an early Silver League loot, that would make sense. Grimlock. Uh, Priest is red and blast, so there's the trainer Vader. He probably is stuck on tokens. Um, honky tonk man. If he played in January, there was they, they unleashed a lot more tokens than I was mm. expecting. Absolutely. Dude loves a pretty useful trainer on the race. Oh, he's got Bronson Reed, too. This guy, you're doing... Oh, you got some nice stuff, actually. I'm getting ahead of myself here. Um, so, obviously, uh, Taker will be good to work on as you work on Vader. Hey, Kitsu, how are you? You missed it. I was drinking some Alani earlier on the stream. So as Vader goes up, kind of mirror Taker with him. Obviously prioritize Vader, but Taker will make his power gems better. Um, and then, or potentially Triple H, which is better for Vader. I haven't leveled my uh, Vader up guys in the chat that use Vader. Is Triple H or Taker better on Vader? That people that use Both him. are important, but that now that he had so many power gems, you can literally have the entire board filled with his low MP moves and just... I mean, just the whole board is is uh, power gems. So Triple H is probably the better play then. Possibly, yeah. I I mean, that's uh, it's almost one A one B, but okay. But certainly a good good move. And then Goldberg is a uh, yellow flat gem damage. I use him quite a bit on tours, so definitely have him in your pocket to work on. You go for Taker of the two, Ocho? Okay. They're almost the same, but you go for Taker. Okay. Uh, Rocky needs 9K. He's probably there. So, yeah, Motu, Motu Goldberg for yellows. Um, Vader, as you can, kind of keep working Taker and Triple H, whichever one. Pick one first uh, and work them as you work Vader. Yeah. that Noah, just as you can. You know what I mean? As you can, bud. And then, um, uh, Dude Love probably are the big trainers at Striker. Just for his extra gem, but you probably don't need him right now. So you don't need to rush Dude Love. I would put him behind. So, like, your priority, I would say, obviously, when you can, Silver probably, uh, I would Silver Bradshaw. Um, Priest is another really good trainer at six star. But, Save your tokens till you can six star silver like Bradshaw. Right, exactly. <laughs> I am baby ice. You just can't see it. Work on I'm waiting for chat to troll you and say that uh, Hall of Fame Sarge beats all of them. <laughs> I just haven't seen it yet. What Ocho's saying is completely accurate, and he has started a bajillion accounts. You need to work on your one hitter and then whatever boosts that hitter. He's 100% correct. So if you're playing Bradshaw Power Gems, um, he can't generate more, then you're using Taker if because he's more damage per, right? Um, and if that's your big guy, that's how that's who you're going to work up, is you'll work up Taker to go with Bradshaw. Bradshaw to six-star silver first, and then Taker to to help him. That's Yes, that is Lee always grinded. Mm-hmm. What's up, Big Love? And then at hey. oh, go ahead. Oh no, no, no! I, I was just gonna say I can't make uh, Rusty do the big. Every time B Big Love comes on one of our streams, Rusty uses a very sensual voice and says the full name with numbers. <laughs> What's up, Big Love? One nine eight one three eight. Love it, love it. I got you. Um. Yeah, your focus is going to be your big thing. You can work on some of the lower ones when it doesn't hurt your um, your tokens or your resources. Feud and Jug set up for Yellow Stip. Focus on the power gem part, uh, probably, uh, since it's what you're feuding, uh, Noah, uh, as far as the trainers to build him. But yeah, I think... Ocho, you're completely correct. So let's just say for now, Bradshaw to Silver, 
number one priority and then i would say the taker number two um because he'll help bradshaw more than triple h right oh look at this he's got stuff to work with man uh he's got signer the steiner six star and then we saw bronson reed hanging out right here He's also got Clubber and Ridge at six star. And Rick. That Bronson is rare, but super good. Yep. Like super good. Uh BG. So Bradshaw, there's a threshold where Bradshaw switches over from power gems to the triple red. So basically, if you have like a a 20% gem damage strap and a, a red move damage metal percentage in Fury 2. You can start switching over to triple red. You can recycle if you need to uh, by putting one multiply on the red. I did a pretty extensive video on Bradshaw with that. Um, and then if you have like a Queen's Tiara, it buffs the multiply gems or a Bianca's Braid Blade plate buffs all gems but at about 20 percent with fury 2 and a red move percentage you can switch start switching over to triple red from the power gems and it becomes faster ideally 40 or 50 percent strap is better with with a tiara but you can still start switching over you could run mosh as long as you can get charged you absolutely could run mosh 100 percent as long as you can get the red moves loaded Absolutely. Um, you're waiting on shards for Bronson. Okay. So while you're taking people six star Noah, make sure you're not hurting shards for someone you could be taking six star silver. Shards are a deal. Sh yeah. Shards are definitely a deal. So like if they're overlapping, like you you need and, and tokens too. Um, if they're overlapping, you know, and you like, so also with someone like Bronson, having takedown twos is a huge thing, right? Because the moot, the buff scales multiplicative after the other stuff, multiplicative. I can't say that word anyway. Um, so like you want as much stuff stacked before the buff. So like, if you don't have takedown two, if you don't have a 200% metal, move damage people with a buff like Bronson become much less attractive. Uh, so that's worth keeping in mind too, but don't hurt your shards. Like, so you kind of need to pick one to go to silver and whatever moves you make, don't hurt your shards or your tokens. Otherwise you just spend the whole time. Yeah, Noah. Yeah. Uh, Rhea is amazing. Uh, she's like, for most people, she's by far going to be their best lady on their roster. Um, so Piper's a good coach, but Bulldog is better. Uh, or trainer, I mean. Hall of Fame Taker is also very useful, um, for Hall of Fame Rex and stuff and uses different tokens, but will use the aggressive shards, of course. Um, it's very different. Um, Nightheart to there's Bulldog. He's your he's your trainer. Forty five percent to red. Uh, he's pretty useful. So I would say higher priority on him to get to the five star gold level than most, but not at the expense of tokens that you can use elsewhere. Also, uh, Zombie Austin, useful sub trainer, which will help a ton on tours. Again, not at the expense of other tokens, but he's really low right now. So you can just use some cheapy tokens on him that likely won't hurt you anywhere. And unless you've got a really good Austin elsewhere, once per year, that zombie Austin on three most 316 events comes in clutch. Yeah. You just can't lose. Yep. Same thing with the Austin tours, or I mean the zombie tours too. He can beat a lot of tours because he just stun lock. It just takes you a long time. So... Yeah, as far as which one I like more to pick to go to six star silver, which one would you pick to go to silver on your roster of your powerhouses? Uh, and typically, I would always recommend doing guys first most of the time. 
simply because there's usually double to triple the events. We have like three guy events to one girl event usually. So typically that's why I would recommend that. It's more as an efficiency thing, but you do want enough ladies to be able to still do those. So like in your case, you're talking about Acheria already. That would be my focus for your best lady to put your resources in and level up quickly. Uh, Cause she's a, she's a dominator, you know, uh, but we'll see what else you got. But yeah, who do you like for your powerhouse like to work on to silver when you think about that? Uh, he does not have a titan. The nice thing about his Bronson is it's he's chaotic instead of aggressive. Mm. Those aggressive powerhouse shards are are just at a premium. Just quick example, but on, on our stream on Friday, I pulled Hogan and the stream convinced me to YOLO him to six star. And I wasn't thinking I was going to get Austin, so it was fine. Then I got Austin. I had no path to take Austin six star and, oh. and except for I did all of my – I had 450 silver leagues saved up that I was going to save for level 22, and I just had to cash every single one of them in to in order just to take Austin. So that's the – you know, watch those classes carefully. Like aggressive uh, on powerhouse and focused on trickster especially, like very much careful on those. Hey chat, you're seeing his roster, then that's great advice, Lee, because the shards are a huge deal. Now, like for for a lot of you, if you spend and stuff, you might not think shards are as big a deal because you get so many dupes and loots and stuff. But if you don't spend shards, like it's a thing. So you gotta really use them judiciously. And then if you're not in a boss battle league, uh or a boss battle clan faction. That takes a ton, too, because boss battle is so good for getting shards. Uh, yes, mm -hmm. Powerhouse KO is chaotic. He does not have Powerhouse KO, though. Um, I kind of, on his roster, do kind of like Steiner for him, just because he can stun lock. Um, but he's not and fast. And there's not a lot of focused Powerhouses, either. Right, there's, like, none, really. It's, like, him in Hall of Fame Hall and him in Hall of Fame Hall. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's that's pretty safe for and for maybe, his roster. Maybe Nightheart. Nightheart. Yeah. Well, okay, then who do you think he should level Ocho? You tell me who he should you think he should wait for the next free one? He's not so he's not really gonna get much better at six star silver and you can do what he needs to do at six star bronze so that's kind of a valid point you think you should just wait no i don't know if you have scott we're not there yet i don't know that it super matters having a low level of steiner is a major because you can punch up and keep your roster talent lower that that's a valid point as well so Honestly, guys, when it comes to um, doing the most with a little, the, your, Osho is probably, at least to my knowledge, I would say he's the best guy in the game with doing a lot with a little. No, no, for showdown scoring. Ah, okay. Ridge is really fun. Even no Titan, Ridge is really fun. Strong ladies. Mosh, too. Oh, you got Steamboat as well. He's a great coach. He's worth six-star bronze for the extra gems, although I don't use yellow too much. <laughs> Zombie Steamboat has been big in boss battle a few times where me having him six-star silver surprised, like especially on some of the blue requirements mm -hmm. where I was just trying to get a, a focus uh, with blue, mm -hmm. and his alternate move set came in clutch. I, I mean, he, he surprises. He's not the best anymore for sure, but he is he's solid. way better than most give him credit for. Yeah, yeah, he's solid. I agree. Sensei, how are you, buddy? Welcome in. Uh, Mosh is obviously super good too. You can get a lot done with Mosh. Uh, so I love that you took Mosh six star. Um, Cora is super good. Like six star bronze is kind of Cora's sweet spot. She doesn't get a lot better at silver, to be honest. She hits almost as hard. All she does is get more health, really. Ninja, Ninja kick the rabbit. <laughs> How are you, Will Breaker, by the way? Um, Dakota's really good, too. 
Uh, Corbin doesn't need anything, so he's great, but he also is not as good as some of the others. Uh, theory is pretty solid. You have Clubber for bleed, I think I saw. Clubber's bleed. No, Clubber's health steal. Paul is bleed. Sorry. Oh, right. Um, Kama's pretty dang good with the combo move, actually, but I like Mosh way more. Mosh has got more, more control, safer. But Kama is that that um that move hits really hard for sure. That combo changed him significantly. I do like Mosh more though. Sammy's going up for blasts. His new coaching ability, mm -hmm. yeah, hundred percenter, yeah. Um, yeah, uh, sort of. Not actual leech gems. When you make leech gems, I want to say it's yellow and purple? Question mark. It's the one I don't have. The rosy plate mark of a hero or something. No, Dakota can still hit hard and recycles perfectly without a drip. Um, drip just makes her like. I don't know. I guess you want to say God tier, basically. Without a drip, I think Core is better. Um, with a drip, though, um, Dakota is better. But Dakota's good even without a drip. Not great, but good. Very good. Yeah, Baloo, he sucked on the preview. He definitely got better. Yep, exactly, Noah. A couple cycles. It's a two-cycle win. Right, but that's not necessarily bad depending on your roster. Um, Cora is gonna win turn one against six star bronzes. Just so you know, Noah, when you take her silver, she probably is is almost all the time gonna be two cycle wins against silvers. So you're really only gaining the um the health. I didn't see Trick Live yet, uh, Ocho, so I don't think so. Liv is probably technically the better to go to silver over Cora. Because Cora really only gains the health. Yeah, he doesn't. And as far as the guys, Mosh six star bronze again is kind of his sweet spot. You just gain more health. So um you don't necessarily need to to take him take him silver, but that would probably be him or Steamboat, like uh Lee was talking about. Um would probably be my pick uh based on what i'm looking at um i don't think you're gonna have apollo i'm just guessing maybe you got lucky on apollo but i'm gonna assume you don't have apollo um and um and mellow mellow theory benefits definitely from mellow and apollo yeah razor for flats i you know how i am about tours you guys have seen enough of the videos where i use all the flat trainers to beat the tours and no strap so any of the flat ones, well, it doesn't hurt. Trickster tokens are the worst, though, generally. Um, so definitely, 100%. yeah, flat trainer is worth a priority. If you don't have, um, what's his face, Logan Paul, then she's really big for purple subs, for tours. Again, these are tours, though, so, you know, you don't necessarily need to skyrocket it. And, like, I would put Razor ahead of that. Um Theory's got the leech percentage, which is useful, especially if you're going to use like Tori and things like that. So Theory's worth taking up too. Also, Theory's required a lot on tours and such. Um, so you can get a lot of legs out of Theory. Uh, yep, Kyrie too. Trickster, you're just going to run into token issues because there's so many freaking good trainers in Trickster. I mean, Steamboat, like, um, whoops, wrong one. Theory. Kyrie, right here. Uh, Sammy now, right? Like Nikki, you're just gonna get. Uh, Blue Blood's got advanced trainer like you, so you just have to focus though, and not hurt taking your other people to um, to six star, silver and six star bronze. Yeah, Noah. Uh, everyone is in that same boat, I think, with Trickster. So how about you, Lee? You too. Oh yeah, yeah. Guitars. Uh, anything of the diamond or emerald variety in five stars just a mess 
Yeah, that was a good show. Ocho for sure on Liv. So Acros, I love Wes Lee and Cena. They're really solid. Shotzi, and then obviously you got her. I would definitely make her your first six star silver. Three by three method is good to go by. Nice. Yeah. You got a lot of stuff you can work with. Uh six star or I mean sorry, five star gold for his flat as you can. Um definitely so it's you got Rhea, so that's the downside. Now that you have Rhea, you don't need Kyrie as much. But she's gonna be really good this month and next month too, so work her up a bunch and she'll help you for a couple months like with your tokens obviously i i, I tell everyone this really you don't think he can run her he's got the two um he's got the two oh do you have did she need does she need 17k santa i think she does to run the set i like He's saying go for the moment. Like it that's mm. seems like that's the logic for Ocho, because the moment would actually help both of them mm -hmm. in feud. Yeah, uh, if you can get the moment a hundred percent do it. She does need okay. I'm I'm assuming Noah does not have seventeen K Santa. And that makes a big difference on Rhea. That makes all the difference, actually, uh, on the moveset that I like. No, that's good, Big Love. 9K, yeah. So, she doesn't need any trainers this month or next. Kyrie doesn't. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, I mean, so... How many? How much prize wall currency do you usually get in a month? Finish her double purple, and she hits seven eight million. Okay, well there you go. And Kyrie's gonna be really good too, for sure. Steamboat is such a strong coach, and he's a under underrated fighter too. And that dragon helps your your uh, trickster dragon as well out now too. Mm -hmm. Anyone that you got using traps. So if you decide to use trickster dragon, if you're using Dakota, it helps a little bit. Yeah, uh, agreed. Yeah, you you a hundred percent take her as far like the freebie every month. My free to play account takes as far as they can go, one hundred percent. And now with the MP boost, giving you two months. Like my first gold showboat is KO. Uh, Kyrie is going to be my first gold lady, uh, acrobat easily, hundred percent. Thirty k prize wall, okay. If you can get the moment, I think you kind of should totally do that. Um, is there a good chance you'll get Sonya then too, Noah? Because that's a t that moment is then a twofer with Kyrie and Sonya, and it makes a big difference for both of them. And not to mention others on there too that are good. It helps Dakota. It's it's a fantastic moment. It's the first thing I rate that as the best thing on the prize wall this month. And number two, yeah. and number two, I would say would be the Evo tokens for Kyrie. Yeah, Will Breaker Becky. I was gonna say, did he have Becky Goat? Because she now has like sneakily three or four feud moments mm -hmm. if you can get them. Mm -hmm. I don't remember. He's got tricksters are so loaded at lady too. Like they're ridiculous. I don't think so. Right. Nice yeah, I've wanted infinity. to build Becky Goat for a while, and there's just too many. There's just too many good trickster females. Right? Can they start making some good ones at another class? Two twenty five hundred k. So you're right. You're right. You're on a good pace. I would say Noah. Yeah, I, I'm on record, a hundred percent, all in on the moment. Like I already that was the first thing I bought. I think that's great. So yeah, I think you focus Kyrie take her as far as you can for sure. Um, if you're hitting seven or eight million on Rhea, you're already beating bronzes. So I don't, you don't necessarily need to rush. 
You think so? On on this account, Ocho, you think? On the free on on what he has, you think it's about equal? Hmm. Any account? On any account. Wow. So he might not be wrong when because I was looking at Kyrie if you have so apples to apples right like if you don't have like mellow for Rhea and like 100% strap then you don't have crazy stuff for Kyrie either like what so generally generally stuff mirrors like if you have crazy stuff for one you have crazy stuff for the other right so like you put a 100% strap on Kyrie I think I did my preview with like a 20% if I recall that seems usual for me 30 at most, maybe even a five. You put a hundred percent strap on her and then you run her with this thing here and you can do the, um, uh, the snowfall gems and I'm pretty, and then this one, I'm pretty sure. You can't see that Merrick's. Oh yeah. You, your discord is over it. Thank you. Eh. You're welcome. Uh, and then go like triple green. I think um, with the multiply gems, you're going to get the blues into the multiplies. And then if you have a, a pyro plate, you get 100% um, uh, boostage on that. And I think you don't even need to cycle it for a second run. And with the moment, it'll finish it because your multiply gems get so big. It's also only 6 MP, which is huge on an account that does not have 17k Santa. If you don't have 17k Santa, 6 MP is really what you want to see. Because seven is is so much harder to load, um, a lot of times. Like six, you're just like, yeah, buddy, you know, because you can use uh, uh, a lot of variables, um, a lot of different stuff you can do at that point. So, but a triple green would slap with a piper plate. Um, you can also do other, you know, where you you can choose into it with the choose if you really wanted to i mean like there's a lot of stuff you can do but i think triple gr triple green with the moment get the blues hitting into the multiplies it's going to be super nasty because those are going to be times 10 with the moment um and you could run is there no there's not a green uh two mp green one multiply yet so this lex is blue yeah i don't hate the Kyrie shout out to be honest so play definitely i would say play Kyrie, get her up see how you like her and wait and see which one you like more and see if you do get the moment you know what i mean uh I, i'm like i said i'm inclined to say ocho is much better at this than i am if i only had one piper plate where would i put it mine is on striker sammy that's the first place i would put mine um but that also depends on who you want to make faster, Destroyer. I also have Taker at Showboat, so Regal sits because um, of speed. Like, I would probably, ahead of Regal, I would probably use Taker, um, obviously Seth, I don't have him, um, KO, if you have the stuff for KO. Um, I would also probably use. Um, Who was I thinking? I just went blank on the other one. I would probably use for sure boats. Yeah, there's one other one I'd use ahead of Regal. I love that he hits hard, but he's slow. Gotcha. See, B B G or uh, B G Dats uh, Apollo with the Piper Blade. That's the one I think is really slow. Like Regal's quite a bit faster. Yeah, Apollo takes a little bit with his move animations. Yes, Baby Ice Mellow was the other one. Thank you. Those are the ones. Oh, of course. Yeah, those are the ones I would use ahead of Regal, because of speed. And Mellow is just stupid. Like, he's ridiculous in all modes. He's stupid. He's great. If you ever get Mellow, he's he's a cheat code, and I'm really sad I don't have him. <laughs> yeah, he's super good. No taker, no sheriff. Okay. Uh, probably Gully. I never played Samu yet. He's on my list to do on my other account. I doubt he's underrated. I just don't think a lot of people got him. I would say, because, like, I only have, like, 1,400 shards on Merrick's. That's a super low 
so super low recruit count for me. He was the lowest that month, and that month in particular, everyone was low. I've seen a number of people use him in our faction that have uh, six silver for a couple different boss battles. I saw a lot of them for feuds. He he seems like if you have him, people enjoy using him. Yeah, he's, he's super rare. Yeah, Sam is definitely good. The both of the those head shrinkers are super good. I don't have him either. Um, yeah, I love KO. Um, even even without the um the bracer and the other stuff, he can still do the like the the choose sub finisher or the buff sub finisher. Like KO is just really smooth. Um, I doubt you're gonna have a better powerhouse or a showboat at dudes, and you said you struggle at showboat. So, um, let's see what we have though. I would say he probably would take. Based on the fact that you said you struggle the most with showboats, that that's who I'd make your priority with those shards for sure, is KO. Only other one I see so far is RK Bro, but I don't have him, so I don't know if he's if he's just rare or if he's actually good. He's just rare. He's a little on the low end of damage output, sadly. He's just rare. Low charge, like he's close. It's just it's just seven multiply gems. It's not enough. Yep, mm -hmm. exactly, Noah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, focus on KO at Showboat. He'll make your Showboat life much easier when you can. That that'll that'll help you out. I know you said you're waiting on shards. <laughs> Ignore trainers for a second. Rhea makes twenty eight six times gems. Kyrie makes twenty four ten with moment. That's an excellent number statistic, Ocho. <laughs> uh, plus, yeah. Yeah. Uh, you also get the 50% boost on the moment for blues, too, not just the multiplies. So Kyrie gets an extra boost on the, on the moment as well. Yeah, Christmas in July, yep. Although the last one that they did oh, with man. the Hogan tokens were very low. Very, very low. low. Everyone was all like, WTF. Right. Why are all there no Hogan tokens? Because we had so many in the last time, and now there's none. I think I spent, like, uh, I mean, I don't remember. Maybe it was, like, a, just a mega pull or something. But I spent, like, at least 100 bucks during that trying to get more. And I think I, I, I didn't even go up, like, half of a next step. Like, it didn't even, you know, there was no way I was going to evolve him. Yeah, yeah. And I that was, like pretty all in yeah i value check that one and i'm like i don't think i can get enough to even kind of make this worth it um for me because i'm at like the next step is gold i think five star gold and it takes a bajillion or maybe maybe it's even six star bronze i don't know it's a lot yes what ocho said seth is crazy uh it also depends what plates you have what trainers you have the Ocho is completely on point. Most of these things are... That's why I like doing the roster dive like this. You can see everything they have, except for moments. How do you like an X-Pac? Uh, Hall of Fame X-Pac. How's he working for you at Tech, Noah? Love Ludwig. Everyone knows this, though. <laughs> see, he's been, if you look, guys, he's done a lot of smart stuff. He's got a lot of the freebies at 6-star. Going 6-star, they've just been really strong. Uh, if you're not a big spender, if you don't have a huge account, these are these freebies are absolutely going to carry you. The Ludwigs, the Kaisers, the KOs, they're just, they're freaking good. Uh, big accounts, small accounts. Cowboy Bob is great against powerhouses. Yes, 100%. And he also has a nice sub move. Cowboy Bob is probably slightly criminally underrated. The sub's done. It, it, even it, just mm -hmm. to put it on your feud for defensive roster and not use him he is super annoying if you don't get him turn one you just get stun locked and, and subbed it's endless nice noah uh, ludwig is also who i chose to bring up on my free to play um account at tech i have cowboy bob too but i'm going with ludwig um cowboy bob is another great one to work up to i was on that screen um, you have the other theory, so you don't necessarily need theory for Rex. Drew, Unin, and Roman are just high enough for their training abilities. Um, 
DDP uh, got an update for his uh, abilities. Yeah, I don't know if he's using anyone right now that he'll care too much about. Even. But yes, no. he absolutely X breaks. Yeah, he hundred percent did. Did he say how he liked? Um, how are you liking Xbox? By the way, Ludwig is is a good second choice. That's who I would work next, and then Cowboy Bob. Is your powerhouse Austin trump card? <laughs> right on. Yeah, Cowboy Bob can get you out of some really sticky situations against powerhouses, 100%. Yeah, Doink is an important one if he's using anyone with green move damage, 100%. Good to point out reversals on some superstars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're definitely worth considering. Ah, uh, you need a strap for him? Yeah, so no strap makes a huge difference, right? That's definitely helpful and a huge part in who you should build, like, if you have the right stuff. It is hard. Uh, that's what makes it fun. But it's super hard. I'm... We got really lucky... It, anyone on a free-to-play account the past three months though with some of the stuff that happened the fact that a free-to-play account has Bradshaw and Liv and you know no no he means hard as in difficult to play like it's way harder than spending for sure yeah Ludwig is really solid yeah absolutely you hit League 21? Congrats, buddy. Yeah, I would say with the... Definitely, I like Ludwig, finish him off, and then I think Cowboy Bob to to pick off powerhouses, and then, you know, you can slowly work your trainers. Uh, like Zombie Dom uh, is pretty clutch trainer. Also pretty clutch fighter. He hits ridiculously hard. You do not have, though, uh, Powerhouse it's Ray. Lovely. Yeah, you don't have Powerhouse Ray yet. So he's not a rush because without Powerhouse Ray, he's kind of meh. Hmm. Um, but yeah, I think you're. I, I like a lot of the choices you've made though. Like in particular, like I said, focusing on the free superstars, the other ones you picked up, like uh, Bradshaw, um, and then, you know, Vader as you get the tokens, and Korra. Like you just made a lot of good choices. Yeah, Zedom is so hard to get shards. But just know, though, that he does not hit anywhere near his potential without Ray. He's like half the man without Ray. So, you got a, uh, any specific questions, uh, Noah, um, that maybe we didn't answer? Uh, Ocho, you got anything else to add? I really actually, I, I can't stress this enough, guys. Uh, what Ocho has done with almost nothing in the past uh, and he started over a bunch of times. I have an infinite amount of respect for what that guy can do with almost nothing. So, hmm. like, literally, if he says something when he's not trolling, 100% listen. One of the smartest champs players I've ever been around. <laughs> he's got that Sir Zoro brain. Ocho's like, Kind of on a whole nother level. Like, literally. Like I said, Stip Tours changed because of him. He got banned for cheating because he was just good. You're always trolling, that's the problem. You're not always trolling. <laughs> you, you have a lot that you can add to the game. Um, like, seriously, fantastic mind for the game. What's your question then, Noah? It's okay if it's not about your roster. Fire. We got a little bit of time and we can start talking some boss. Does the boss battle to you feel like it's a two-pony race? <laughs> it's Z-Liv and Z-Bianca. Yeah, and maybe Becky as well. The new Becky. Will well, be, that's true. Will be okay. She just can't really grow her damage. Um... It, at 2 billion health, I think people should just put turn 1 out of their mind and start working on setups and strategy. Yeah. 
I mean, the nice thing about that, we, we've tried to talk about this on our podcast so many times, and it feels like it's, you know, it's just barely clicking with some, is like your boss breakers are more important than the care. Well, at least as important, but in some cases more important than the character you bring to the battle. Well, yeah, it, it really depends on the battle and what your faction does, but I've said this so many times when I do, like, boss prep videos. You have a role with the character you bring. If you're there to break the shield, then set up to break the F and shield. Uh, don't don't waste. <laughs> have your moves loaded. No one cares about your 500k damage you did, but we do care if you break right. the shield right away. Don't be a dumb butt. You know, <laughs> <laughs> it's not that complicated. So four star Kyrie. Uh, pretty sure I just run her. Um, I run her sub. Uh, the green move in the finisher on my free to play. And that's worked just fine. Yeah, in the middle of the week. Yeah, so Rhea Acker Rhea will be great on the shield, absolutely. So if you want you want to assume in this boss, um you're not going to win turn one with 2 billion health, right? I think damage wise, uh, Liv is probably, I mean, she's got the boost, right? You're just going to click these two moves over and over. Literally, you're going to click those two buttons. You're not going to give up your damage and it's just going to get bigger and bigger and bigger. So Liv is your damage dealer. She will be the best by far. I don't, so I don't think it'll even be close to be honest. Uh, as for Bianca, which one is she? Is she chaotic? She's focused. Thank you. No worries. She, I mean, she's got like for where I'm at with her, you know, 5.8, 5.9 million bleed uh, times you know, 20, quote unquote, two turns. Yeah. Times 20. So if you just figure that 11 per, per cycle, so to speak, uh, times 20, I mean, that's 200 million, you know, per swipe. I mean, or I'm not per swipe. It's a hundred million per swipe. Um, if if you can keep recycling it. What's up, Nuke? How are you? So I would probably... I hate not starting right away in boss. It might not be the right play, but I just generally despise not starting right away in boss. I'd always rather lay something down right away. So why don't I just improve this? That would be much better. On anyone You're still four point nine. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and if I'm I'm not six star right six star silver. So yeah, oh. so if, yeah, so like four point nine million on Bianca. So for two turns, so just basically two hundred million every time you can hit the bleed and then swipe twice, and it's only four MP to reload it. So you're basically, you're just going to hit the bleed, then you're going to blow up the board, then you're going to hit the bleed, blow up the board, back and forth, back and forth. I think she's number two for sure. I don't think Bianca's a trap if you got Apollo. Like, uh, he's a 150. If you have Apollo and Kyrie, I think you can run Bianca. I don't think she's a trap. Uh, bleed, I think she's worth running. Uh, yeah, revamps are a work in progress, though. So they don't show anything. They just show tentatively how they're going to function. But yeah. I've seen a couple different... Oh, go sorry, go no, no, you go for it. Oh, I just I've seen a couple different questions in there about whether or not like trap gems. So like Goat Becky, for example, uh, you know, deals the bleed, but it's based around trap gem. So will that get the buff or no. is it just straight bleed moves? No. So the easy way of understanding what gets the buff is if regular trainers affect it, it gets the buff. If regular trainers don't, it doesn't get the buff. So nice. uh traps, jugs, whatever. Traps, jugs, countdown bleeds do not get buffed. So other than Zianka, is there a lady with a big bleed that's not off of traps or something special? I don't think so. Um, None are coming to mind. So I think these two are probably the big damage people. After that, silence gem at 10. Uh, like, so Becky, who I don't have, is pretty good. Oh, yeah, Lita does have a big bleed, Kenny. You're right. Showboat Lita? Yeah, he's right. And You've so, got your uh, Dudley boys still up on the screen, though. Yeah, thank you. Covering. Showboat lead a defensive? No, she's chaotic. She is aggressive. Well, I wasn't even going to 
Oops. And the, oh yeah, Chelsea HD. Good shout on Chelsea. She's got a nasty bleed. See, I missed Chelsea. I didn't get her. So we'll take a look. That's my fault. We'll take a look. Right, let me go style by style after this. Um, Chelsea does have a really nasty bleed. So Lita's bleed is 588 for two turns. Probably like six fifty. It's the charge though. I think it's a little bit higher. Yeah, Chelsea's probably it's seven. So a little bit higher charge. So with her, uh you want the bleed trainers, so I would have blue matchy match. Um da -da 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 -da. So you're no, a Tech Cody can do some serious damage if you have a decent setup for him. Tech Cody, it does like 30 million with a good setup. Last feud. If you got a, if you got a hundred percent gem damage trap. <clears throat> but you know, <laughs> just 30 million. You know, <laughs> I'm I'm just looking at the bleed right now, Kenny. Uh, I definitely will move in different moves. I just wanted to see what the bleed did. 100 percent. So, Lita workable, probably, yes. That's 1.3, and then let's just assume Kyrie here. But let's see how much. Well, whatever, 50% is 10% difference. So, 1.67. That's only 26, so you're doing like 50 million. Oh, thank right on, Broken Wings from the Himalayas. Welcome. It's a high charge and it's 50 million over two swipes, so I don't think it's necessarily ideal. Um, finisher is fastish, and that refills it. And then you got to choose to get back, though. So I don't necessarily love it, but if you have her at silver already it's not bad it's some extra damage also though you're not helping with the shield so the real question is if you bring lita what are you doing for the team if it's not enough damage uh right. i think it's not worth it you'd be better off bringing someone to break the shield get the shield down and let somebody that does big damage do the damage does that make sense guys like in general yeah. if you're not the one doing the big damage then you, you do something super useful. Break the shield so it goes down right away, and then you can win. You know what I mean? Uh, bring whoever you have that has exhaust maxed. Um, uh, and here's the thing you can do if you didn't know. If I have to break the shield with someone like Lita, um, let's say she's my best, I have exhaust maxed. What you do is you take this choose, and you bring the choose. Um, yes, healer steal, absolutely. That one's on chaotic, yeah? Um, you take this choose, you do a, you get it loaded, you do a bunch of swiping, don't match any blues the whole first turn, don't hit your moves, you just swipe, try to get as many blue gems on the board as you can, and then you choose into the, um, you choose into the blues, right? And then you can break a bunch of blues. So there's little stuff like that you can do. Don't be the guy that goes in with somebody not leveled up and say, I'm just here to get carried, I'm not, you know what I mean? Do what you can, like, you'd be surprised, sometimes... The breaker that's breaking the shield misses by like 10 gems or whatever, and that's the difference between being fast or not fast. It's blue gems. Uh, I don't have Indy. If she does yellow and makes them silence and it hits hard, sure. But I don't have Indy and almost no one does, so I have no idea. <laughs> I think uh, I think they said they got, him, got her from a bag, and that was like their biggest pull for the luck for the year, so... If you got her that's awesome yes lead a drip gumsy that's what we're working on <laughs> you troll um yeah chelsea will be really good nice smart um 
So boss breakers. Healer Steel is probably going to be the best one. And like this time around, I would say likely. Indy here, AMA. <laughs> <laughs> um, like this will be huge at Chaotic. For sure, Chaotic's best one is Healer Steel. Uh, to be honest, I don't really care at Focus this time. Uh, this one, um, the, the, the shield one, um, for whatever you call the shield one, bruh, um, exhaust, Neutralize or, or crack in the shield, exhaust, so you don't take damage, your team doesn't take damage, oh, gotcha, and then, um, the heal on the defensive, that's what I would run, I don't, what, I, like, who cares here, uh, but, but, she, these two are your big ones, and I think Chelsea's going to be mad. I might actually have to take her six star. Let me look at this. Uh, <laughs> which I think what, you got to get set up there. Which style is she? Chelsea, I think, is focused, but I don't have her, so I'm I'm very willing to be wrong. I can't remember styles at all. I think Liv has silence gems too. Yeah, trick Liv while we're here. Does she not? No, it's color turn. Wrong live. Never mind. Never mind. Hall of Fame Tori. Hmm. Might be a good shout. Yeah, big love. That's the, who has the silence ones. Yeah. Oh boy. Good golly, Miss Molly. Yeah. Um, That'll help. How do we get to the yellow? Where's the yellow come from? This one. That's right. Bleed queen. And then what's the fast way back to the blue? I don't like that it's all choosing very much at all. Right. But. That's a freaking lot for five turns. This the sub, yeah. That's a freaking lot for the five turns. Although, what I would do 100% is starting yellow board this. Um, so every three match hits your bleed, right? So, because my goal would be to have as many yellow matches so I don't have to do the stupid subs, right? Because that's choosy. It takes time. You got to do two to get one move, right? So I'm totally going this route. Um you could go full bleed and hope to get lucky with the swipe. Um, but I think this one yellow match and you're good. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like that's the, that's the, that's the way. Um, Footers, I'm pretty sure it gets negated. Once the boss does their turn, it just messes everything. It's been forever since I used a bleed person on a boss. They do not go off unless you swipe in boss, yes? Correct. So I think they're there till you swipe. Once you swipe, then it goes. So if you swipe and the shield is up, it's going to do no damage. But if the shield isn't up, then you should do damage no matter what turn it is. So if you waited through the shield to swipe, I think theoretically the bleed is still there waiting for yep. you to swipe. Let's see, how much is that? 2.5 million. So that's 25 million. So only 125 million per bleed. And you gotta swipe five times. But it, it still should be pretty good. Yes, I know Woods is better. <laughs> I just grabbed the first one I saw. Woods is 10% better. I know. Um, it's close enough, though, right? Like 125 25 million over five swipes. The plus side, though, is she does also break some blues. While she's not a good shield breaker, she does also do blues. And this would obviously be loaded um, for when that happens. So I would give this one not as good as Bianca because Bianca is way more with less swipes and lower charge. I didn't I say twenty times? Did I? What am? It's two point five million. Uh, so what is that? Oh yeah, yeah, fifty million, two hundred fifty million. Thank you. Uh 
Hear me now, believe me later. 250 million, yeah. So she should be really good. Um, at 250. No, that's worth it. Yes, I'm gonna take her six star. I will use her in chaotic, I think. If you can stack that bleed and then just swipe a few times, you're gonna really wreck shop. Yep. And I would do it with the yellow match, like these two. So you just need one yellow match and go. Because then you're like swiping, you're getting your bleeds, you're stacking it up. And if you really, really want to make sure you succeed, just take in the yellow matchy match prop. And then when you run out of matches, you can just match three gems and go to town. What's up, Restate? So I would add her to the, yeah, 250. I think I would add her. Kids lightning to help. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. You yeah. Know, 100% everything but that's okay you missed everything but that's okay so yeah i like her for damage her for damage and bianca for damage and then who did we talk about oh yeah we should look at tori with the silence uh did she yeah have... hall of fame tori so these these for damage these three which one was tori at uh, i think focus okay Does anyone else get big silence besides Becky, new Becky that I don't have? I I can't think of any. I mean, Becky the man, but that's not big. Um, yeah. I can't think of anyway. She's right. You just missed her. Oh, I do. I'm blind. Like, I swear I'm blind. How do you miss her? You're okay. And I'm on a delay, too, so I don't know. <laughs> By the time I've said it, it's it's already happened. Yeah, Steph won't Steph won't do enough. That's just bring a shield breaker instead. And this is just silence into red at ten times. So you would need like the the uh the gremlin plate to go with this. This one you don't even need. With this forty five, yeah, I would just do these two over and over, but then, then you need the choose to get back to it. There's no choose. Ugh. No. No. You're gonna have to yeah, put it. She's not gonna scale. Yeah, you're gonna have to put the juggernaut gem move. It doesn't increase. Oh, hold on. There's a buff. Never mind. We got a buff. Okay, hold on. Changing my mind. <laughs> There's a buff. Right here. Four MP to start. Bulldog Gremlin plate. This goes down. Swipe. For people that have gear, yeah. Which I do. So you could use um, two red MP trainer or Santa if you have the gear. Yeah, I think that would work because of the buff. And Bulldog Gremlin that sucker. You know, because then you get another 100% and the buff is working off of that. So Bulldog Gremlin plate this. Yeah, that would work. I, I think I'm down with that. That's 10 times and then the buff on top of it should be juicy. That would be okay. If you have the second gear, yeah. So if you have both gears, then I think you're really cooking. Like, then she could probably be a good damage option. Six-star silver, Zandel. So if you have Tori, six-star silver, both gears, she probably might even fall into the damage option. Mm, no, we're jumping all over, Evo. Uh, Showboat Tori is yellow. She has a buff. Defensive. Thank you. Is this just feud? It's oh yeah. If you got the moment, yeah, Tori. Um because that works in every mode. Mm-hmm. And really it's just this and the finisher. Yeah, just that and the finisher. Uh-huh. So it's two moves to cycle through. Uso cap and gear? I don't think she's going to hit hard enough, honestly, but I would maybe. So I when you're when you get to like this with moment and the fact that it's a buff. So boss to usually do really well, you need you, typically the boost for the boss isn't enough. 
unless you have big multiply gems or some kind of modifier on top of them, right? So, uh, meaning a buff. Because the buff stacks multiplicative when it's a buff like this. So, if they don't have a buff, if they don't have big multiply gems, then most of the time, characters aren't going to do enough damage. You're better off bringing somebody to break the shield to do a specific job that has a certain breaker. Like your maxed healer steal here, if you don't have a damage person, you're healing here because this is very few factions are probably going to turn one this um, for the most part, right? If you got a couple lives, maybe you turn one it like a live, a Bianca, a Chelsea, maybe all three of them. You know, you run a really good lineup. Uh, everybody's got a non carry in a spot. And then just to be safe, you got like your blue shield breaker here, let's say. So let's say you run literally something like. Maria. Let's say your team is running this. Right? Then, yeah, you're probably got a shot at turn one. But how often are you going to be able to run that while you cycle everyone through each of their styles? Uh, no faction competition in the thing I saw always grinding. So, like, I think a team like this, if they're all very good in six star silver, I think they can win turn one, probably. But I wouldn't plan on being able to do that consistently. So I think you got to play for, for multiple turns. Shield's going out right away on turn two. You break 80 blue gems and you're back to damaging. So, like, realistically, you know, have somebody that can bust blue gems. Like, Rhea can bust blue gems here. Um, so she would be fine. A lot of people have her. Um, who does blue gems up focused if you don't have Bianca at six star silver? I don't know. You know, just it's not that hard, really. You just kind of look for people that can be somewhat useful. In my case, this is the one I have maxed, um, which I don't think she does anything at all with silence or yellow. So, and it sucks because we don't need the boss breaker this time. <laughs> so that's kind of kind of worthless right now there for me so um sherry what it can i don't have sherry's moment uh but she can grow her damage with a pyro plate um not ideal probably her moment would help though but not ideal so really it's just trying to yeah kenny yeah you could absolutely do that uh-huh that would be a good one. Why am I on class? No wonder this is I'm not finding anyone. That's just stupid. This. Yeah, you could use acro like so now maybe you're running something like this, and then you win pretty easily on turn two. You know what I mean? And have your breaker um healer steal just in case it goes turn three. Um something like that. So that's it really it's about doing your job. And if you're not one of the big damage guys, like that's kind of why I hate doing, like, the value picks for boss. Because in reality, there isn't a value pick. You either do good damage or you break the shield. In this case. Otherwise, you're not really helping your team a lot. Does that, does that make sense? Yeah, I think that makes perfect sense. I, I mean, you've got... To, how many times have... You gone into, uh, you know, or heard somebody go into one where they just didn't have the ability to break the shield. And then it doesn't matter how much damage you've got sitting there. If you can't get back to the damage cycle, you're screwed. Right. And once the shield starts going up, if you can't take the shield down, you're done. Right. You're just, you're just done. And that just does not feel good. Like I was in, you know, a faction before where almost nobody had that kind of figured out and you lost lost after lost after lost just like this mood mode is terrible but you get on with some teams that know what they're doing and you know the faction am now stuff we, we able to go into those and it's it's a lot of fun like this mode is a lot of fun when you have some people who just kind of pay attention and, and know what they're doing and make sure you talk in the boss chat beforehand if somebody doesn't it doesn't look like they bring value to your team like don't feel bad about saying hey can you bring someone else to this please Unless it's a carry, and you know you're carrying them. Exactly. Uh, so, S Sleeper, good pick. Piper Plate on Piper. I hate Piper. 
but she will absolutely crank out crazy damage. Yeah, it's like read the room. <laughs> yes, Will Breaker. So many boss battles, like you, it's a loss before it even starts. They have no chance. Uh, yeah, Northern Mouth knows. He, there, like at, at certain point, I just get like, I, I, I won't even tell people to leave anymore. I'll just if some if an idiot keeps joining, I'll just leave. Like straight up, I'll, I, I'm not. I'll just leave and make another room. Like, cause I, I'm not here to babysit you. Do some prep work um have a slim idea at least of what you can do you know have a little bit of self-respect and pride and don't let your entire faction down especially if you're in a faction that does boss battle like we I think we finished at least 10th every single boss battle in one percent how do you not come ready to go like <laughs> how how is that a thing like you know you're just the scrub of the scrubs if you don't have some idea like who wants to be that guy don't be that guy you know I mean, we're like we're in the top twenty usually for for boss battles and stuff. Top twenty, top thirty guaranteed. And we still we had to put out a thing for a couple of the boss battles that said no six star silver Hall of Fame lawlers allowed because <laughs> it was just like everybody had them at six silvers. So that's what they threw in. <laughs> no, I I don't care if you're if you're bringing a good character or not. That doesn't matter. I like uh, Gumsy. Right. Gumsy's I know trolling me, but I'm gonna respond to it anyway. Uh, what I care about is if you bring something prepared. That would work, Grimlock. That would work. If for some reason you Bailey is your highest acro, that would absolutely work. I think Piper would hit super, super, super hard, to be honest. And I would get some kind of, ideally, bring a choose. Um, so that you can blow up the board potentially without swiping and keep the, the her plate buff, right? So if you did this and then you add yellow to green plate um, to make the, the choose more likely to be filled, I think uh, I think that would work really well, and you'd continue to grow the damage. No black moves. Okay, got it. Black moves, right? <laughs> does Dakota make blues? What move set does Dakota do blues? Um, does she have a move set that makes blues? If so, absolutely. Just made your bottle up, Merricks. Thanks, Gumsy. So yeah, I think I think Piper would actually slap like this. She could end up in the damage department. How much? I don't know. Uh, it's really random. You know what I mean? But just these two moves and a choose to hopefully keep the buff. She turns botches into blue. Then yeah, hundred percent. If they can make blue, they can they can do the shield right. If they're making eight eighty is not a ton. So if they're converting like twenty thirty blues, that's a huge chunk of it. You get two people doing twenty thirty blues um you're pretty much good you know like and and then just be ready to go though as soon as that shield drops you click your button to uh to do the blues no this is my account will breaker this is my account yes gumsy you do need six star silver so piper at defensive really strong option Bailey, if I'm not mistaken, does blue things. Um, showboat Bailey. And in a lot of cases, she's people's best showboat. Uh, Tori's a great uh, damage option we talked about. So showboat Bailey should be good because she can do blues um, with the sub at least. It's better than nothing. Uh, so that's bringing something. Just have the sub ready to go and choose your blues out. So in the case of like Bailey, I've done this with Gable because they play very similar. Um, Where's the choose destroy? I would have this. So what I do with Bailey is I'll uh, turn one. I'm hitting the sub and choosing um, blues and not making matches. So they're on the board. Then I fill the yellow up again and have it ready to go. So I'm choosing into all the blues on the board. She can easily break 20 plus blues at the start of turn two. Easily. If you play it right. Oh, you just turned into a transformer, dude. That was awesome. There was like a motorcycle went by. My windows are closed, and I could hear it through the whole house. Yeah, it sounded like Optimus Prime just showed up. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> that was great. So yeah, Bailey would be a great one here. Um, at defensive, did, did whoever asked about the defensive? Have I given you someone you could use yet, or do I need to keep going? Plus, Bailey's on the the well. I mean, it's early in the MLC, but she's on the the prize wall. If you don't have the max MLC, 
if you don't have top league rewards. If you have the uh, blue to purple plate, you could do this and then just have all of the um, this row. You're, you want all of the blue gem generates you can, right? So you want to do, you would run it like this. Striker Nikki absolutely will be great for the shield, 100%. Mm -hmm. a, lot, a lot of people have her leveled up. Um, is there another blue gem trainer now too it's like we got some of these have funky ones did anyone get more blues more the better here. like generate more blue i think so because like uh we got red on a couple of trainers i don't think anyone else got blue 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 is uh for whatever reason always gets the short end of the straw it's the red-headed stepchild of champions <laughs> I think at this point we could admit that uh that that specific lady who's the blue trainer is not going to be around so we we need to move that to somebody else oh you mean sasha banks yeah that one <laughs> that's that's in that's in aew yeah i don't know mercedes is money i don't know anything about that i don't know anything either yeah hi furpo <laughs> i'd probably you know i, I used I used to love every time uh, you'd be on the stream and go, don't find me, Furpo. Don't find me. Rusty and I talked about it. Someday we need to make shirts. And I was like, we we'd have to cut Merrick's in on that. <laughs> <laughs> Just a shirt that says, don't find me, Furpo. All right. Uh, I just like teasing him. He gets, he's got the worst job at Scopely, in my opinion. He's the middleman for everything, and everybody hates Furpo. It's, I, I would, that, that's <laughs> rough. Community manager is a rough one. He's the one where if anybody's mad in the company or in the community or in the content creators, it <laughs> it's his fault. Him. It's his fault. Shoot the messenger. And and then we just message Gerson like he's the like, here you go. Thank you, Gerson. And Furpo's sitting there going, come on. <laughs> it's it's true. G makes a lot of awesome changes. Um, but yeah, yes, exactly, McMenemy. Furpo takes all the crap and controls nothing, yes. Uh, I'd probably run her this way so you get it loaded easily, and then with the the blue to purple plate, you'd be awesome at the shield. You just spam these two over and over. Forget the top one. She would definitely be great at the shield. That would be legit if you have her leveled up. Absolutely, go for it. Oh, thanks, Telvin. I appreciate the correction. Mercedes Moneas. Fair enough. Also, she goes by a different name in The Mandalorian. Did you notice that? Oh yeah. She's got a different acting name too. She's got more. Well, her real, real name is her last name is Renato. I think. I think that's what she went by in Mandalorian. Yeah, that's that's just her straight up real name. Yeah, she has more personas than me. Yeah, gear, <laughs> gear will help. Yeah, absolutely. So, we gotta have. Yeah, what happened to Cable? I thought I thought Cable was coming out more. People didn't give me an excuse. I was ready to like pounce. All I did was troll a little bit with um the new. Uh, where is it? No? Here? No? Where'd it go? I don't know. It's gone. Oh, here. No? How'd I lose that? Oh, well, whatever. What are you looking at? Oh, wait. I don't know. The, the image of the new superstar. There we go. Yeah. Oh. All I did was troll a little bit with that. No one got, got me a chance to get all angry. Do you not? <laughs> who doesn't know the story of Cable and why that's a thing? Are there people here that don't know why cable is a thing? I explained it to Lee before stream because he didn't know. It's worth explaining because I've watched a lot of your stuff and I miss that. Stuff, so I don't know. Okay, so I don't know if you guys know. Uh, I was a, a did a lot of computer modifications. They call it computer modding. It's like souping up computer or cars, but with a computer. So my modding name was Cable Guy because I did custom sleeve cables. So when I started playing Champions, my Discord name, because I ran like a sort of business as well, was Cable Guy. So if you, t if you see like Bob always calls me Cable or Miggity, um, a lot of the, the old timers that I started out with refer to me as Cable because that was my Discord name way, way back before Merrick's was ever a thing. No baby ice, but that's a good one. Redeem code, please. Hold on. Right here. I'm, I'm going to send it in chat. First one to get it gets the redemption code. 
It's for 900 pulls for this MLC. So good luck. I was waiting for someone to ask for this giveaway. So this is the code. Go to the portal and redeem it. It's literally for 900 pulls. Go. First come, first serve. Don't want to hear anything else about it. Godflow asked a question. Streamer, Mer at streamer, Merrick's Cable, whoever you are this week, important question. If you have a premium perfect cooked ribeye steak, what brand of ketchup would you use on it? Probably, <laughs> probably just Heinz 57, to be honest, and just a little bit. Well, I'm a fan of Heinz 57 on steak. I know people hate they that. They flip I out. I, I, just, I and, and people have the wrong idea. What I do is I like a medium rare steak, and I just cut a piece, and I lightly dip it in the ketchup for just mm. a little bit of zinc. And then I eat it, and it's amazing. And I don't care I if mean, you don't... It doesn't I don't, sound bad at all. I don't care if you don't like it. It tastes good to me. So you can take your savage horrible comments and shove it up your oh, i already gave it to you hassan scroll up if it doesn't work you're sol and you were too slow buddy if you scroll up it's merrick's gaming said the redeem code i'm merrick's gaming you probably don't know that because i noticed your first time chat ever in this chat was begging for a freebie also great way to introduce yourself i'm sure that works for you all the time in real life You missed the Christmas stream. We we had some we had some fun with someone who just over and over again just give go back to the go back to the giveaway go back to the giveaway. So it just like all everybody on the stream started trolling, and I I kept thinking to I was like, oh, if only Merrick's were here. This this is <laughs> this would be a cable die. Do you guys? So um, yeah, yes, you do hear a little cable coming out now. I did. I totally gave him a redeem code. You can redeem this code, and if you keep asking about it, you're going to redeem it for a one-way trip to Cable Town. <laughs> what would the odds be you accidentally got a code right? It was like a mega pull or something. That would be That'd amazing. Be awesome. I want that code. 619, I love you. <laughs> Chad Cable. No, so the the Cable story, uh, as it goes, like once I started streaming as Merrick's, uh, when people would ask particularly stupid questions or troll me or trigger me, instead of banning them, I generally would maybe make them look stupid or feel bad instead, you know, that kind of thing. Um, you know, did any of you have a dad that it, 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 you're old school, a lot of us are older. Jenny, you had a dad that instead of like spanking you, he gave you the talk. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like you didn't get spanked. You got the talk. And the uh, talk, the talk was way, oh, fair enough, Godflo, I'm sorry. <laughs> I knew you didn't have one, that's my bad, I'm insensitive. Bad merits, now I have guilt. Um, so, what was I talking, what's a dad, you'll bite? Uh, so it's this, it's this figure in your life that you kind of, if they're good, you emulate. So my dad, instead of spanking, he spanked me twice in my entire life. He actually cried both times that he did it because uh, he didn't want to. Yep, dad, I am so disappointed in you. Me sobbing. Exactly, <laughs> SMG. SMG got the talk. The talk was so much more effective, right? So, you know, dad's at work and uh, I'm a teenage boy and I decide I'm going to be super funny and shoot my mom with a rubber band in the back. Mom turns around and says, wait till your dad gets home. And you knew you had effed up. <laughs> dad gets home. Son, why did you shoot your mom with a rubber band? Why would you do that? What did she do to you that made you do that? Uh, I'm really disappointed in you that you don't have more respect for your mother than that. And you're just like, ah, ah, ah. It was so much worse. You know what I mean? No, no, my dad cried, not me. 619. Yeah, my dad cried. Nah, my parents whooped me. My neighbors whooped me. My teachers had permission. No tears <laughs> except from me. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. Uh, 
I, I had a, honestly, I had the best parents. I'm not angry. I'm just a, disappointed. Yeah, kitty corn. It's so much more effective, to be honest. So much more effective. Um, so anyway, because the, the running joke started to be cable would come out when, you know, somebody said something stupid. Um, so I had the, I have this fake alter ego that is cable, which is Merrick's when Merrick's is a jerk now. So yeah, that's where cable comes from. Your dad eventually caught you. That's hilarious. Noah, the talk is worse than the whoop and absolutely. Uh, no idea, Gumsy. I don't have him yet. He's a trial. You'll all get to see him tomorrow. You know what my mom did one time, though? Uh, she cut a one-inch by one-inch square rag and said, now you're mopping the floor with this. And I mopped... Oh. Yeah, I mopped the entire floor with that one-inch by one-inch square rag. I don't even remember what I did, but I remembered I never did it again. <laughs> Oh, wow. Well, this chat just went places here. But uh, Grimlock, I also had a mom who had a wooden spoon. It hung up on the wall as decoration and it only happened twice. But the first time I got the wooden spoon, it was, I promised there'd never be a second time. And then I screwed up and had a second time. And that was it. I was done. <laughs> huh. So this is the talk of the chat, apparently. Yeah, Memrock pack. I, I missed that. That's shocking. They're straight up selling Memrock for a hundred dollars dang if i hadn't just spent on austin i totally could have done that because i need him i did uh chris i did finish 15th and got 1.5 million solo points and i managed to net austin wait there's yeah i'm not even logged in so uh is memrock worth a hundred that's so hard for me to answer I don't know what His your coaching ability is awesome, but he's not as much a fighter anymore. He's a terrible fighter. In my opinion, he's super random. He doesn't hit hard. Um, he's worth it. If you're, if I'm spending a hundred dollars to get plus one more multiply on some of your trainers, in most cases, zombie Gunther is just as good. But now sometimes maybe even slightly better. Zombie Gunther doesn't seem to work the same as the other multiply guys, by the way. So personally to me, I would say, like, this month, for example, if you would have asked me, I would have said the starter for the half-off prize wall and Kyrie, much better $100 spent because then you're going to get the moment quickly and easily at half price. So just for example, you could still do that, by the way. Um, it just would have had more value day one. Um, week $100 doesn't often get you the weekend chase, uh, also, though, I am on record as saying I think it's much smarter to not, and I know, Lee, you'll, you you agree with this because uh, I've heard you talk about it. It's You're much better off not to do $10 and $20 spends. Set it aside and save it, and then you go in with a big spend when it gets you something guaranteed. Uh, loot pulls, I'm sure you've seen Lee do plenty. Um, the more superstars you get on your roster, the more true this is. You almost, in my case... I almost never hit, I actually, I don't believe I've ever loot pulled the debut superstar on their debut weekend. I have bag pulled them a few times, but I don't think I've ever pulled one in a loot. Most of the superstars on my roster are shard recruits, not pulls. Yep. There are a few that that's not the case, um, but the va vast bulk of them, shard recruits. Every one of these top row here was a shard recruit. Every we can't one. see again, Mary. Oh, my bad. You're good. Um, Drop off the portal from view and then you'll be good. Eight, Hassan. I'm going to be really nice here and give you one more chance before I time you out. There are no redeem codes. You haven't said a single word or contributed anything to this stream or chat besides redeem code, please. So I... I'm of the opinion that not all customers are good customers. So I will time you out. If you ask for a redeem code, please, again, I won't ban you, but I will time you out because I just don't want to hear it again. All right. Um, freebie, shard recruit, free shard recruit, definitely a shard recruit, MLC, shard recruit, shard recruit, 
Shard recruit. <laughs> Look at what you just did. It's time. Are you serious? How dumb are you? I I I I didn't want to say it, but I think that's the name that was in on the Christmas stream. Because then it became such a big joke in the chat, like, oh my gosh, what if this is the person that wins one of the one of the codes? It's gonna like set everyone off. Oh, I wouldn't have gave it to him. I straight up wouldn't have gave it to him. Like I uh, like if I was streaming and he won, I'd just be like, re-roll, sucker. Uh <laughs> Seamus was a pull. So you have to go all the way down to here to get to my first pull. He was a he was a loot pull. Definitely not on debut weekend. Oh crap, it's five o'clock. We are Yeah, we've been we've been going for a while. Fun. We're two and a half hours over. Which yeah, means I'm well. getting off of uh oh. I just heard Mrs. Merrick's walk upstairs and uh -oh. I've been downstairs for an hour and a half waiting for you to finish. Why didn't did, did uh -oh. you message me? No. I didn't know you were home. You didn't, did you? This is horrible. Tell her to blame me. Tell her to blame me. If you me. weren't streaming, you would have known that I was home. Oh. Hi, stream. <laughs> Hi, babe. How are you? Mrs. Merrick, Good. it's, you it's my fault. Please send all better? anger my you way and hold Merrick's arm. Do you need anything? Away. No, you're that's so nice of you. No, I'm good. Okay. Oh, no, don't say she's not mad. She's disappointed. <laughs> I told him the story about dad, you know, is always the talk. Uh -huh. Yeah. Oh God! He tells everybody that story. I'm so sorry, so sorry, guys. Blame, yeah. So the chat's saying blame eight Hassan. The dude kept asking for giveaways, and I kept having to to tell him. You don't do giveaways. Up. See, that's what I'm saying. I don't do giveaways, and I told him that. Yeah, he's dumb. That's not nice. Okay, sorry. He acted dumb. There you go. Better. He's not dumb. He acted dumb. There's I mean, a difference. He may be dumb, but... but I don't know him like that. Yeah. <laughs> Mrs. Merrick's his best player. <laughs> yes, she is. It's always it's good to see you, babe. Uh I wish I had known your home. And no, I'm not in trouble. Um, but she is disappointed. What code was redeemable? Somebody keeps typing redeem code. Oh my gosh. I yes, knowledge is what I give away. Not not in particularly impressive knowledge, but I do give knowledge away. Oh, and self depreciating humor, apparently. Yes, they're both free and worth the same. <laughs> Uh, Lee, thank you so much for being on today. I really appreciate it. It was awesome. Yeah, lots of fun. Thank you. And hi, Mrs. Merrick. It's I'm good not to meet cable you. today. He, Lee says hi. It's good to meet you. Hello. <laughs> See, they even they even look at what they did. Evo did this. They photoshopped me onto Bubba Ray Dudley and said, "Get the cable," because there was a subject to change, and we assumed everyone was going to be annoying. It turns out only one person was. And that was the dude that I timed out for asking for giveaways repeatedly. They photoshopped my face onto his body. I look Why good. do you look like the lead singer of uh, Lincoln Park a little bit? Like a buff, a buff Chester? Yeah, a buff Chester. I mean, wow, that's quite the honor. I'll take that. <laughs> if only you could sing, my love. It's pretty bad. You guys have heard me sing the Gummy Bears. <laughs> <laughs> what? They love it when you troll me. Do a. <laughs> That friggin' 19 second scream from giving up. Friggin yeah. Dude nah. was amazing. Shucky Ducky Quack Quack. How are you, Ducky Schultz? So I have to say, I feel like this stream, since Ducky just came in, it reminded me. Yeah, that is a face reveal. Hold on. Um, Kinda. Nope, not this one. Um, here you go. That's me. This stream was no bread. Is that why you took that picture? No water. Is that just why? Just meat. No, I didn't actually. I just, this is the only one recent one I had of me. Mrs. Maris gave me the sweet turtle shirt though. Because the other video game that he's currently playing has a turtles theme coming up. People have been asking for turtles in this game. Yeah, that's like, not going to happen. Once the He-Man event hit. Yeah, I know. A turtles crossover would be amazing, but rip wallet. So I'm good without it. Yeah, Mrs. Merrick's buys me all the coolest shirts. I am a good-looking fella, thanks. <laughs> yes. Ducky you Schultz, you're welcome in my stream anytime. Anytime, Ducky <laughs> Schultz. Come back anytime, sir. Oh my gosh. I'd mark We're still it. trying to convince Merrick's and Rusty to do a hot sub stream together, so if you could donate in the chat to yeah. that, that would be great. I... That would be an interestingly strange one, though. Would they like make everybody look like the Hulk? 
The Hulk? Yeah, because they'd be green. Oh, the Incredible Hulk, the turtles? Yeah. Oh, I don't, I don't know. They'd that probably put a, a shell on buff. them. They'd probably put a shell on Are you them. on cold medicine? Uh, yes. Mike says how much. <laughs> uh, yeah, so Rusty and I will do a hot tub stream if you s send enough bits. Mrs. Merricks, what's the proper amount to get me in a hot tub with another guy? We're on the Champs channel. Though. Are you going to be wearing clothes? <laughs> uh that depends what gets us more bits i mean optional <laughs> lee said optional oh so did Should mike it, uh... <laughs> it'll be a... so for for no not too far for a... <laughs> just the right amount god flow i don't care if you have a... i don't care if you have a sword <laughs> if you tell on me to furpo flow i swear <laughs> So for a thousand oh, right. bits, this isn't your stream. <laughs> yeah, no, it's not. <laughs> Sorry, everybody. <laughs> for a thousand bits, I will shave your name into my chest hair. Wow. Just saying. Wow. <laughs> can Can Hassan get in on that? Yes, Hassan <laughs> can get on that. Oh, I'd love a Vikings crossover. Oh, that's just what we need. I could continue growing my goatee out more. You're going to wake up without any facial hair. That would you're be going to look like you're boxing again. That would be horrible. I look so dumb without facial hair. <laughs> you look like a five-year-old. That's not funny. It's <laughs> not funny. This is the best. No, it's not. It's not the best. When she runs in on stream, it just it's 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 it is the best for everyone other than Merrick's. You probably oh. look like Butterbean. Yeah, I'm not far off. Oh, GI Joe crossover would be awesome. No, shave the goat. No. It is the I best. Had a little Iron Sheik, like Iron Sheik 84, or like the one in the game? I'm going to go play video games. Okay, I'm going to get off of here. Okay. Okay. Yep. So I can talk to you for like 53 minutes before I have to leave again to, uh -huh. do, to do my tanks. I know you don't love me lately. I do the love you. I love you so you much. No, it's not. I care about you so much more than <laughs> tanks. I just am playing tanks when I could be playing video games stuff with, with me you i'm the worst partner i know ever. you're so bad i have a gamer girl and i'm not even playing video games with her you guys play how with stupid me. am i he's playing with a bunch of other dudes yeah that's kind of dumb yeah i think i lose some kind of man card for that <laughs> all right have guys you ever been sitting in a room when when a married couple's having an argument and you're just like hum de dum de dum <laughs> right now <laughs> Crazy Dina says Harley Quinn crossover, I female crossover. Right. We had enough male ones. I'm with that. Big Love's Team Merricks. Yay! Wait, Team Merricks what? Because Team Merricks is Team Mrs. Merricks. They're the same team. <laughs> Ooh. That's right. Ooh, I dodged a bullet there. Hi, Spider Guard. How are you? Yeah, I was dumb. I was really close there. <laughs> Chat's trying to get you in trouble. You got you, you to gotta end it before they catch you. Right, right. All right, all right. I'm going to hit end stream. You guys have a good night. Lee, thank you again. You were awesome. Follow the WWE Champions chat, guys. Professor, Goldie's got a giveaway. Go to her YouTube, enter, win money. Uh, not money. Win a card. <laughs> a poster. Yeah. Yeah. No, actually, you know what? If you no, go to hitting in streams. If you, stop talking. If you go no, to her stream, stream, you actually can win money, a car, and a life. Which behind which door? <laughs> have a good night, guys. Uh this has totally gone off the Bye rails. Off. Yeah. Oh my gosh, don't fire me, Furbo. No! Oh lordy! I'm done! It was good while it lasted.